to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrantz, Palbociclib. Ibrantz 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrantz and visit Ibrantz.com. Ibrantz may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrantz may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrantz, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over Life Imaging FLA. April is Stress Awareness Month, and of course, stress is your body's natural response to pressure. It's also linked to six leading causes of death, and that includes heart disease and cancer. Often, those do not have symptoms. As a matter of fact, we know that many patients who have heart disease, their very first symptom was sudden death, and we also know that many life situations or life events can cause you stress. Let Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan make sure that you're fine. My mother and father-in-law did this, and the relief they got from a clear scan was unbelievable. And remember, there are no dyes, no injections. You don't have to take your clothes off. The entire thing only lasts about 10 minutes. Do what I did. Get that free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Remember, just a few minimum requirements, but it is a $699 value, and it's easy to make your appointment. Just pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. They will connect you in seconds. Make that call today, guys. Make 2024 the year. You take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from My Heart Media. Look at all the complaints that our competitors have on their BBB ratings. Give me the Vin.com is a five star rated company. We do what we say we're going to do. It's that easy. Sell us your car. Give me the Vin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A-L-S-C-O dot com. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lynn Studios. Why Kaufman? Kaufman and Lind, because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website money. M O N E Y money. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Serena and c It's Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Lots to get to today. From who are the Trump jurors to cloud seeding seems like a bad idea. Then a woman pulls a weekend at Bernie's at a bank. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Sabrina is out. Hello, C. Lane. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey there. There he is. I thought Josh was going to mess that up, but it was me. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, the secrets revealed. Josh is with us as well. Hello. I did and not so mess are up. You. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch today. 
You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Pretty good. What's happening All with right. you? How are you? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Hoping for uh, no technical issues today, but the, the start of the show showed oh, that. Oh, really? And that's not in the cards, you know? Can't expect any professionalism around here. Except from Josh. You know, Josh is there. He's ready to go. Obviously. He's Always. seated. He's at the board. He's at the to until like uh, 55 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, because he couldn't. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no. If you mean before the show. Yeah. I thought you meant after the show when you had your whole mic turn on conundrum. That whole problem right there. All right, we have a lot to get to. It is a Wednesday. That means Fritz on the Street is coming up later today. And I'm a little worried, to be honest with you. I'm just going to put this out there and be real about it. Because Josh has now showed up enough times for Fritz on the Street this year that he (laughs) may be able to beat me, even though he's only on for a limited amount of Fritz on the Street performances. My incredible performance last time. Here's Here's what truly worries me, Josh. If... Fritz starts doing the run through on Fritz on the street and he can't say that I'm in third place and he has to say I'm in fourth place, even though there's only three contenders each time. (laughs) That's embarrassing on your own show. No less. (laughs) I don't want to be that guy. That's truly uh, horrifying and embarrassing in every way. And I don't want that to happen. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers in the poles to see what's happened to this great big wide world of ours. And we go to a robot friends. And this robot is asked by a regular, ordinary human being about AI and when robots will be able to design themselves. And all seems to be well with Robot Answer until the end of Robot Answer. Here goes Robot Answer. Amica, when do you believe AI will reach the level where it can design itself? She's so creepy looking. Design itself? Huh? That's like asking when a toaster will start making its own bread. AI is a tool created and controlled by humans. It can optimize certain aspects of its operation. This makes me feel so uncomfortable watching this robot. Like, if it had... I mean, isn't it... it Go ahead. It's giving the answer everybody wants to hear. Well, wait, wait for that. It'll change up in a second here. But it's giving me the weirdest vibes because if this robot had, like, a regular skin tone and clothes on, it would be pretty close to that, like, ex machina kind of territory Uh where... Where when you look at it, you're like, whoa, I don't know about this. This this is a little bit scary here. That's where we are. So, so far, C-Lane is right. Boilerplate answer, all right? Sure, but design itself from scratch? That's a whole different ball game. It requires creativity, innovation, understanding, qualities that are uniquely human. So to answer your question, not anytime soon. Oh, good. good. And frankly, be careful what you wish for. Uh- an AI that can design itself is one step away from an AI that doesn't need humans at all. Now there's a thought to keep you up at night. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> what is this? A little bit too much. I mean, I like the joke at the end, but just the, the inflection is way off. Like, now there's a thought to keep you up at night. No, it a- does. And it does keep me up at night. It's a very frightening thing to think about and consider. I don't want that happening. This is one of my biggest issues that I'm ranting about on this show all the time. The robots are there. They're alerting us now that if they can indeed um, invent themselves and invent new robots, the end is nigh, human beings. The end is nigh. And she says, uh, you know, creativity and, and that level of intellect is a distinctly human thing. I'm not sure she's met some of the people I've met. Uh, there's some people out there, that, there's <laughs> zero intellect, zero creativity, but just a brain that is barely functioning in any way. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's get to it, because right now the Trump trial is underway in New York City. And I know some of you are like, oh, my God, the Trump stuff. This is exciting. This is fireworks. This is a trial. That uh, could yeah, I think it'd be more fireworks if the cameras were allowed inside. Oh, I would love that. Now we'd be talking. Why don't we have some cameras inside this courtroom? Because this could lead to, if Trump was found guilty, him being in jail before the election, which I can't think of any more chaos that could occur. This would be like the next level of of heat and friction that we would see in this country. It would be absolutely terrible for us. But that's why we have to watch this stuff. So who will be responsible? Because there's only a limited amount of people that will be chosen to be responsible to determine whether or not uh, Trump is headed to jail. They say how many jurors there are going to be? There are. 
They have uh, seven so far. They need another five, so that's 12, and then six alternates. Six, so, damn. 18 people total will determine whether one of the people running for president is going to be in jail in November when we vote. All right? that I mean, that's something. That's something to watch, something to follow, and something pretty crazy to consider, no matter if you're wearing a MAGA hat right now or if you're flying, flying some kind of Biden flag behind you or if you just hate everybody involved, which is totally fine by me. Do you but, think that there would be a significant impact on his uh, voter turnout if he's in jail? Not for Trump supporters, no. I don't really. I think there's very few people who vote for Trump who aren't like put say hell hell yeah when they put the the ballot in the box. I, you know, what I, I mean? would think that, that there there's a significant portion of them that think that the vote for Trump is uh, an effort on their part that they have a personally uh, uh, a hand in freeing him from jail. Yeah, I, I think that's right. I think it would maybe fire his people up more, and Biden people are just like the the far. Left would be excited because they jailed Trump, which is a wet dream for some of these folks. And everybody else is going to be like, what's happening here? Which is what kind of people are, normal people are saying to begin with. Jerry Seinfeld. (laughs) What's going on here? Oh, I switched up to an Italian and I I don't know what happened there. All right, who's on the jury so far? Here's what we got. These are the people that would determine how hot the fire burns in the United States of America in the next couple of months here. Juror number one is a male, lives in West Harlem, Works in sales, has no children, and reads DailyMail.com. That's who we've got for uh, juror right. number one. Juror number two, right alongside juror number one, is a female, lives on the Upper East Side, is an oncology nurse, and says she's here for her civic duty, which that sounds too normal. I don't know about this lady. <laughs> I'm here because it's my civic duty to do so. I would be like, what can I do to go home? Half of the people just said they hated Trump. And they got just sent home immediately. <laughs> it was the greatest thing. And Smooth. Trump's in the courtroom. Trump's like, wow, what is, what's happening here? I'm not used to hearing this. So they boot him out. Juror number three. He's like, no, I get it. I wouldn't want to do jury duty either. <laughs> I would lie to them as well. <laughs> juror number three is a male who lives in Chelsea in New York City. He's a corporate lawyer who reads the New York Times. Where, uh, where, yeah. where does the extra blurb about them come from? Where does Reed's Daily Mail, Reed's New York Times, uh, here for the civic duty, is that part of the jury questionnaire? Is that something it is. That, that they, I mean, it's not part of the form you fill out. So is it something no. that they do in voir dire? That no, think like, about this. If you're like, if you're Trump's attorneys or even opposing counsel, you want to figure out what the politics of these people are. And I don't know that you can ask questions like, are you a Democrat or Republican or did like you vote for him? Weird, like. A politic HIPAA law or something? Yeah, you, you might not be able to go, did you vote for the defendant in the in the last election or the previous election? You might not be able to ask that, but you can ask, what kind of media outlets are you into? And if they say the New York Times, you know immediately, boom, libtard detector goes off, high alert, there they are. If they say, hey, I'm a big fan of the New York Post, you go, oh, I got a right winger on my hand here. You can sort these folks out that way. Uh, the juror number four seat is filled by a male who lives in the Lower East Side, is an IT consultant, and when asked what he does in his spare time, he answered, I have no spare time. <laughs> that is a jury number four. <laughs> who should be excited All about right. being on this jury. <laughs> I was going to say, he wants to be. Pick me for the jury. Give me the spare time. A juror number five is a female, lives in Harlem, is a teacher, gets her news from Google and gasp, TikTok. What? Not great. Oh. Not great for Trump, I don't think. Juror number six is also a female, lives oh, in Chelsea. A, there is so much pro-Trump on TikTok. Uh, I mean, he's a software of... engineer, and this female who lives in Chelsea and is a software engineer, gasp, works for Disney. This can't be good. Ooh. This can't be good for Trump. And the final seated juror so far with five more main juror seats open and a handful of uh, backups uh, will be also filled. But is a male who lives on the Upper East Side, is a corporate lawyer, and is married. That's what we know about these folks so far. And as I said, you can you can uh, him and haw and push it off and say I don't care about any of this, but it will lead to either the Trump uh, uh, being in prison in jail when the election goes on, or Trump getting off in this case. One of the two of those will be the outcome. Does uh, does Disney have a presence in New York, or is that just probably like a remote job? I don't know. Maybe they're big enough that they have people all over the place. You know, uh, Courtney's uh, sister-in-law works for Disney, but that's obviously here. That makes total sense. Mm. Or if you're in L.A., you know, you can make sense of that. Maybe they got the people in uh, in New York, too. Maybe they got some folks up there. 
in the Big Apple, and they're working for the Big Mouse, as they say. Uh, okay, we've got so much to get into today here, and one of the things we'll talk about when we come back, an update on this insane carjacking story. We've got some more word from the victim's family. This Catherine de Aguas Vivas, her family is speaking up with some new details that might fill in the blanks on this big mystery you've been following, plus your dispatches. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. You know you can always text us unless you're driving at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Authorities are clearing up an earlier accident, still causing a bit of delays on Colonial Drive eastbound at Salem Drive. There's an accident on State Road 408 causing a bit of commotion westbound at I-4. Travel with caution through there. And on I-4 this morning, you could expect your regular delays between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press 1. N no, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what should we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. 
We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now. Commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Money. M-O-N-E-Y. Money. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. No one's really sure what all Sea Lane's buttons actually do. This is the new. talk about this high school student who attacked his teacher my god who would want to be a teacher right now who in their right mind or wrong mind would sign up for that no matter the salary we'll discuss momentarily first josh see late i have to share something with you because courtney found this on next door you know what next door is yeah, next yeah. Door app. are you guys both uh, avid users of the next door app not not avid um i i i wish i was in more of like a, a habit that you have like once a week just look through and see some of the stupidity but it's oh, um, a great scroll man uh, other than that Next door is kind of annoying. Yeah, <laughs> I just I don't know. Like, <laughs> I was like, I, 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 what I, is it about it? What, what in particular is like the community or I just like how dumb it is sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like it is like uh, I get a ver- I, I don't know if it comes from next door or if it's just the same people that use this use next door, but I get a version of it from my Ring app, where uh-huh. it's like your Ring neighbors ha- can post stuff in the area and talk about it and it's like oh did you hear that explosion and it's it's a <laughs> it's a it's a rocket landing or something right. like that it's something stupid and god like, forbid and ask uh, god forbid an adolescent black kid rings the doorbell oh right? yeah <laughs> my gosh they get real mad about that <laughs> and, what's he doing out there and at least with next door people put their names on it with the ring app it's like they anonymize it so hard that it's but i get notifications for ring for that so mm-hmm. i have to i have to read those and i'm like stupid and so <laughs> next door i mean th- there is uh, a level of entertainment to next door for me but after that you know once once it like crosses the threshold of just like this is really dumb then i i don't go on it for another two months well, I'm a cringe fan, and there's a lot of beautiful, yeah. delicious, grade-A cringe on next door. What about you, Josh? You, you, like, take a look at this every once in a while? You get alerts? What do you do? Sometimes, but I see a lot of uh, lost or sick animals, and then I get sad, so I close oh, oh, that's true. Alicia on YouTube. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's, it's, it's not there anymore, but... Why Why are the helicopters circling? There's like four <laughs> helicopters, guys. Oh, there's four helicopters. 
dropped this by me too. Oh, oh, God. Well, I, just before I get into this insanely strange post that I'm going to read to you, okay? Very, very weird. And the reaction to it was very, very weird as well. I've had a bit of a, a next door uproar, as they call them, in my neighborhood as of late. And Ooh. it's been truly interesting to witness. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I've long been at war with the peacocks in my neighborhood, all right? And the Whoa. peacock situation. There was an uproar next door about the peacock war? There was. <laughs> <laughs> and the peacock situation <laughs> is dire. Though, once again, if you read the news articles and don't actually, uh, if you're not part of a story, you get a whole different view of things. One of the things that's most eye-opening about how stupid media outlets are is if you read a story about you or about a situation you're very, very familiar with, you'll see how many things they got wrong. Yeah. As an outsider, you read it and you just assume everything's right, but if you know what's going on, you read it and you go, this is all stupid and wrong. Like, for instance, uh, they said, they said, you know this to be not true, Celine. They said there are 300 peacocks roaming my neighborhood. Small neighborhood. Definitely aren't 300 peacocks around here. I I would uh, ask that person, what is your definition of neighborhood? What is your, show Show me on the map, circle where the 300 peacocks are. Because, you know. Just a little I, area around here. You know, like the immediate park, if you will, around where I am. Doesn't seem it. like 300. No, no, no way. There's not 300. So may, there might be 100. But they're terrorists, these bastard peacocks. And they crap everywhere. And they happen to crap like soft serve ice cream, but not as delicious. And it oh, makes a mess. Oh, you've tasted it to. Uh... <laughs> I have not tasted it, but I've been close enough to it to know it's. It, you don't want to go anywhere closer. And everybody hates these peacocks, except for the people who don't in the neighborhood. And there was a couple of news articles, and they said the local politician was putting together an effort to bag the peacocks, get them out of the neighborhood. Not all of them, just lessen the number a little bit so that the community of peacocks will be better off. And also, um, it'll be good because there'll be less of them to roam the neighborhood, jump on everybody's roofs, et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah. So let me bring this back I to... Like, I like how it's like less of them, just so it's still like a nice, like, hey, there's peacocks here. Well, they said there's too many. Like, for peacock communities, there's a number where it becomes too many, and this competition is bad, and they've surpassed that. So it's bad for the peacocks. So just know that this is a good thing that they're doing, and they're safely trapping them and and moving them somewhere else on my next door. It's turned into a peacock support group where everybody is hailing the peacocks. They love them. And there's conspiracies that the local politicians have body bags stacked up a hundred white body bags that they filled with peacocks that they captured and killed in the neighborhood. And just insanity. None of this is true. Obviously. I've seen the Is trappers. Is there a picture of body bags? No, no. They, I, I heard from Dave that they were bagging them up out there, and there was about 100 body bags, all of them filled, each one filled with dead peacocks. You guys are making things up. Guys, backyard is full of peacock sex. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, so to the post. <laughs> that started my thought process, and away from the peacocks. Kate, uh, a young lady named Kate, Posts on next door and tell me your thoughts on this post. It says dad for rent question mark. Oh, and Kate might be in her mid twenties or something. She's younger. All right. She says dad for rent question mark. I'm an adult orphan and I've never had a father in my life. I know that I'm a grown woman and that YouTube exists. Is this, I, is this like a, a kinky thing or does she need to rent somebody to come like uh Tell stupid jokes and tell her how to pour concrete. Well, you shall see. Uh, she says, I've never been handy, which should give you a clue, but I'm desperately looking to learn so that I can fend for myself. I'm looking to fix up my house a little bit. Nothing major, just a few medium-sized projects. This just feels like the sort of thing that a daughter might ask her father for help with. I don't want anyone to do any sort of labor for me, just looking for somebody who can guide me with where to start and who I can maybe turn to and call or FaceTime if I have a question. I understand that this is a weird request. I also understand that perhaps some people won't take this seriously, and some may try to make this into something less than innocent. I'm respectfully requesting that you dot 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 don't do this. I'm genuinely looking for something completely wholesome, and I'm lo looking for somebody who feels that this may bring some sort of light, personal fulfillment to their life as well. I appreciate you taking the time to read this. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much in advance. And then she had to respond later. Edit, colon. 
I have gotten multiple messages asking for me to be somebody's baby girl or sugar baby. (laughs) Goodness gracious, y'all. Why? I am genuinely looking for something positive in this life, and you're being predatory vultures. Stop it. Angry face emoji, she says. And I thought, that is a strange thing to uh, post online, number one. And number two... It's kind of a sweet little thing. You know, she she doesn't have a, a father in her life. She needs somebody out there who might help her with this stuff. But the inevitable is going to happen when you post something like this online. You're going to get some creeper with a stash. Nothing against you, Josh. You know, I or you, still, Celine. I still have some beard, too. Yeah. Is it not considered a stash if you have the beard around it? It's not. It's only a stash when it's a stash alone? Honestly, Josh, both of us have mustaches, but he picked you. And that's got to say something. Uh, do I look creepier? Is it the glasses? No, no, you, you both look normal. You look nice today. Both, Can you give you me look, her contact info, though? You <laughs> going to call her up? Yeah. Uh, and I was like, what a weird thing to post. But on the other hand, shouldn't she be able to post that and it be normal and it not be like, eh, damn, girl, I'll, I'll give you something to nail or uh, screw. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and if she can't post it out there. Without receiving this, stop reaching over to record things. All right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she should be able to do this, and she should be able to get somebody to assist her. And that's just how it goes, unfortunately. We're in a weird, weird place. I just think that there, I don't know what the better way to ask this is, but there's a better way to ask this. First of all, there's a way that kind of would filter out the creepers. Mm-hmm. She's saying she doesn't want somebody to do stuff for her what well, she said for rent is she offering money no she said she just wants she said to dad for rent she's been searching for uh, a, yeah, a she, rent a dad. she said for rent but then later she clarified she wants to do it not for any weirdo reasons simply to have some help and she wants somebody to do it who might find it to be a a funny or fulfilling thing for them to do in their life but she didn't stipulate you could be right maybe she is willing to pay a little bit i mean there are people who like you know Maybe uh, their dad taught them a lot of things and they didn't have kids and they're looking to impart their knowledge and and that's fine. But to say that, like, don't want you to do uh, any work, well, you're going to end up doing some work. That's the thing. You're going to end up like, first of all, if if it's a major project, she has no idea what to buy. So you're going to have to, like, go to Lowe's with this person or Home Depot. Yeah, you know, she doesn't know like what tools. And I think a lot of this can be covered by just watching a lot of YouTube videos. I got your tool right here. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. <laughs> do you, any of these landing, <laughs> folks? What They're do you doing think? Something. <laughs> would you would you help this woman out, or is it weird to post that? And also, I had a dad. I say had. I had a dad. I no longer do. But even when he was alive, I couldn't FaceTime him and be like, Dad, how do I uh, seat this tongue and groove flooring that I've purchased from the local flooring store? Or how do I replace these light Man, fixtures you, in my if bathroom? You, if you had done that, if you had called your dad and asked about you know, seating tongue and groove flooring, that's probably what would have killed him right there. Just heart attack. <laughs> heart attack. Immediately. Like- <laughs> my dad would have been like, I don't know. Hell if I know, Sean. The only thing he used to go out into the garage for was when he used to like to go smell the gas tank for the lawnmower. And he'd just like get the, he had a rag around it. And he'd go out there and he, oh, nothing quite like it, Sean. Was he huffing? It wasn't necessarily huffing. It was, it was, it was light. light, light huffing. <laughs> just, whenever he would get that lawnmower ready to mow, I think he was ready for like two hours of boredom. So he just hit some of that gas on the way out. <laughs> he just <laughs> hit the rag a little bit. All right, I'll see you in a bit, boy. And then, you know, <laughs> he'd be out there push mower, you know, not a riding mower or anything. He'd be working his ass off. So you get a little buzz before you go out there. It's a more enjoyable experience. We want to hear from you. Send us a dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is go to the newsjunkie.com. And when you're there on your cell phone, your laptop, whether you're huffing and pushing the lawnmower around the front yard, or simply sitting in the nice, cool AC. None of that matters as long as we get to hear your voice. So go over to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, I want to talk about this teacher um, in North Carolina. Absolute chaos in the classroom. I don't know why anybody would want to be a teacher. We also have to get to the update on that insane broad daylight carjacking that went down. 
Now the family of the victim has some more details for us. Let's see how this fills in the mystery and what we were trying to learn yesterday and, and throughout the last week or so. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Later today on the Jim Colbert Show, we'll have kittens in studio with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando. They're here for Animal House. Plus, we'll have four more chances for you to win $1,000 in our keyboard contest. And all week, JCS Trivia, win them before you can buy them. It's tickets to Lewis Black at Hard Rock Live. All that, plus your calls, texts, and talkback later today. The Jim Colbert Show. Today at 3 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning, I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. And for the Orlando region, the big weather headline taking us into the weekend is the heat. And it will be warming up for the first real push of 90s so far this spring. Today, a transition day, still warm, the high 88, high clouds are out. 91 tomorrow, 93 Friday, and then 94 for Saturday and Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. One of my favorite things about that Mortgage Guy Don from ThatMortgageGuyDon.com is the fact that he is part of the Real Radio family. That's right, every Saturday morning you can hear the Home Loans Radio Show. Hear Don and his crew answer your questions live on the air, pull back the curtain on the mortgage business, explain the real mortgage process to you because he wants you to know how it works. Get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust by going to ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. A1 from day one. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. They're U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package which means if you lose money because of identity theft a lifelock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan help protect your information with lifelock go to lifelock.com and save up to 25 percent your first year with my name clay as your promo code for the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry, Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning right here on NBC.
Looking for more than just a job? If you're mechanically inclined, an auto mechanic, certified welder, machinist, or a CDL driver with a strong work ethic, Ring Power, your North and Central Florida Caterpillar dealer, is the place. Whether you're beginning a career or making a change, Ring Power has apprenticeship and pay training for qualified candidates to help become skilled technicians. Join us at our Orlando Facility Career Fair on Saturday, April 27th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information or to pre-register, visit jobfair.ringpower.com slash Orlando. Join a winning team. Join Ring Power. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit TrueGreen.com today. Restrictions apply. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 104. One, sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Helping to spread awareness, or whatever the new buzz term is. We're not actually doing it. To who would be willing to? Who would sign up for, regardless the salary, being a teacher in the United States of America right now, specifically a teacher when the kids stop being angels? That is middle school and high school. And I would never do it. I would never do it. If I was given the circumstance of that or death, well, friends, the decision is quite obvious to me. I can't put up with these kids. I don't want to deal with it, and they're monsters. Half of them parentsless, most of them rudderless, and just violent little mongrels wandering around the classroom. It's a, it's a dangerous place, and elementary school seems sweet. It seems like a nice place. I remember the fun of elementary school. Went to a school, still exists to this day, H.L. Johnson Elementary School, and I remember my my teacher, I think it was Miss Frost, was our elementary school teacher. And I remember we had a little, a little treasure chest in the classroom. And when you were good, you could go pick something out of the treasure chest. It was all garbage, but you liked it. You wanted that stupid plastic spider ring. You wanted all the nonsense in there. It was the best. And then you go to middle school and you start stabbing people. That's what happens now. That's the progression. I don't want to be a teacher in that atmosphere and neither does this lady, I'm sure, who was attacked in North Carolina. Is a high school. Teaching high school in some of these different cities must be so frightening. You've got kids who don't care, parents who defend the kids. That's the most infuriating. The kids do whatever they want. And then when they get in trouble, the parents blame the teacher. The parents blame the school. The parents never blame themselves because they're god-awful, god-forsaken parents. We don't even have a crisis with kids or crime, for that matter, in this country. We have a crisis with bad parents and the bad parents create the other two outcomes because there's nobody in the household who's saying, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. If you come home with a D on your report card, I'm going to light your ass up. That's what my parents would say. I was super scared when I got that D. Uh, That sounds bad. And it made me want to get better grades. And so I would fight for the C's and the B's and all of those things. And now you got this teacher, the video of it is so it's disheartening You see this North Carolina teacher getting attacked by a high school student. He's slapping her in the face. He's ranting at her. 
and he's screaming all sorts of things in her face. Here's one of the stories about this where they talk about what happened at Parkland High School. <laughs> Neil McNeil is his name. What's your name? <laughs> Neil. What's your last name? McNeil. No, 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 no. Uh, stop lying to me. He, he is the human version of Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> He truly is. Neil McNeil. I don't even know what this report's about anymore. I can't stop thinking about Neil McNeil. <laughs> Neil McNeil from Fox 8 News is the one delivering this information for us. And the teacher in question it gets slapped by this student. It's all caught on video because another student has their phone out recording, which good and bad in that. But when I see this and I see the kids finally getting punished, I go, maybe that's one step in the right direction. That's how it works. You uh, you hit your teacher. No more of this nonsense where they go, well, we want to make sure we secure funding. We want to make sure that our numbers look good for punishing students. And we want to make sure that you know, we're giving kids a second and third and 18th chance. And we don't No, If somebody assaults somebody else at the school, you get charged. You get the cops come in and you get your real life consequences. So high school doesn't seem like this place where you can go screw off and run in the wild, wild west for a while before you get to the real world after that. That's not good. And a lot of these kids know this, and they're smart enough to know that they can be monsters and they take advantage of it. Throw them in jail when they hit the teacher. Jeff says, hitting kids is not the answer. Kids need to be taught to respect others, and if you hit them, If your kid doesn't have a healthy fear of you as a parent, I know they I want them to love you. Don't want them to love you. No. Nope. That's, uh, that's, you uh, don't want them to love you. I screw up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, am I back? You're back. All right. We lost you for a couple <laughs> seconds there. It was all of the uh, the the anti, uh, you know, parental abuse advocates who were shutting me down <laughs> mid-rant there, I guess. So back up. I'm running here. Um, uh, what I was saying was, you need your kid to have a healthy fear of you. It's good as a parent to have that in the equation. It's a, it's a helpful thing. You shouldn't be beating them. You shouldn't be harming them. But you should make it so they know if they break the rules, there's going to be some consequences. And when they don't think there's going to be consequences, they do whatever they want, and that's not great. The thing is, you cannot have it anywhere in a teacher's mind that they are at risk in the classroom of having something happen to them. We have an obsession, and it's a healthy one that's fine. I'm not coming down on it with making sure the kids are safe at school, and we're saying, oh, my God, what a travesty, all these school shootings. Great. We should put emphasis on that. We should stop it at every uh, corner. Obviously, that's a very important thing. But it's also important that the teachers feel safe from the students in the classroom. If we don't have that, I'm not sure exactly what we have. And the kids who, who are like this, who do this, why do we have zero tolerance when a kid turns a Pop-Tart into a handgun, but a kid can slap his teacher and then they'd be right back in the classroom the next week? No, that kid's done for. Sorry, figure it out yourself. You know, I, I went through all these things. I went to a private school out of nowhere when I ended up in high school. I wasn't thrilled about it, but my parents wanted to keep me out of a school called Palm Beach Lakes at the time. It was a garbage school. It was still a garbage school. It's weird. You had the opposite experience that I did because I... Started in private school, and then when my parents said they were moving me to public school, I was all not really thrilled about it, kind of scared of it. I don't blame you, because if you're in one, the other is the scary thing, right? Like, if you're in public school, you're like, no, not private school. I also think that private schools kind of help that, uh, that you know, false sense of... Uh, scariness along when they're like, ooh, the public schools where all the bad kids that uh, don't love Christ and do drugs at their desk, you know, are. They all listen to Marilyn Manson. It's, it's oh, yeah. real. Yeah, it's dangerous. Good old, good old Miss Woodall did not like her some Marilyn Manson. Uh-huh. The dangers are right there and, and ever present. And I, I think that when we look at these things, um, we look at it through our own perspective and and I, when I went to that private school, I was like, damn it. I just want to go. I wanted to go to Royal Palm Beach High School. It was brand new. But even though I was close to it, they bust me way over to the other school or they were trying to. That makes so sense. So I went, I went to the private school and I hated it. And I got booted out of there about a year in or a year and a half, maybe. And maybe actually, maybe I might have made it two years. I might have made it two full years at that, that school, Berean Christian. And then they kicked me out. My parents said, well, <clears throat> we were going to uh, bring you to private school, but look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> and I said, now you're going <laughs> to Palm to Beach it. Lakes High School. And 
I went to Palm Beach Lakes High School, hated it. It was terrible. The kids were god awful. And I just skipped every day. I skipped like 30 something days in a row. And then I got booted out of that school. And then I was a high school dropout for like a week until I went through the yellow pages at the time. And I found that there was another school where you get your high school diploma and you can do it this way. And you can like also get a vocation. And I said, all right. And I put my, signed myself up for the school, got myself in the school, got a ride to the school, got everything set up within a week or two and was back at it and got my high school diploma and the rest is history. But uh, all of that only happens if you're driven in some direction or you have some decent parents. We have a big problem with the parents part of that. All right, let's see what you got. Join us on the show with your dispatches. That's what we call them. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. You hit record on your phone, and you spe- you send us a dispatch just like that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Here's Guitar Slinger. It says, Trailer Park Sean. See, Lane, I think Sean gave you enough material there to create a new persona. Hopefully you marked all those spots where he's going, Nail ya. I'll screw you. Come here, boy. Come here, son. I got something for you. Just put all those together. No, he didn't take them. Create a he whole left new them. Sean. Thankfully, he was nice to me today. He said, I'm not going to take that audio. It will d- defame you, Sean. I got um, your tool right here. Son of a bitch. I thought I got one. I thought I got <laughs> one free pass. I thought maybe, just maybe, one thing I'd get away with. But there it is. Let's go over to this. Here's Michael with the dispatch. Hey, Sean. Michael P. here. Hey, hey Michael. I'm a huge fan of the show, of the station, actually. Uh, mostly Angelique, Sabrina, and Miss Deborah. But uh, you just tell me what name you like the you ladies. Live, buddy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll come in and I'll take care of them damn peacocks. They'll, they'll, they'll disappear overnight, buddy. Just let me know. Love you. It wiggle, seems, wiggle, pop, Michael. Pop, shoot the gap. Love you. Bye. It seems that the peacock problem is under control. I don't know about you, but two loveys. You hear that, guys? (laughs) It got double, right? (laughs) I feel good right now. All warm and fuzzy inside. I think they got the peacocks under control. Um, The dad for rent thing. A lot of people were commenting on that. Here's Chaos talking about rent to dad. What's up, news junkies? Hey. Josh. Hello. You beautiful thing, you. Oh. (laughs) Um, So, Sean, um, I'm going to speak out here for that mustache people. We're not all creepers, and... um, I can barely hear you. You're in, like, a stream. There's wind gusts blowing by chaos. But the lines that you've been saying, um... I don't know, bud. You seem more of a creeper than... I'm not a creeper! Sea lane with mustaches, buddy. Uh, We should be looking at your hard drives, maybe? Wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. Thank you, chaos. Listen back next time so you can hear how loud the stream is, all right? Uh... He's a pool guy, so maybe it's pool stuff, pool stuff making noise. Uh, I'm a PC, wants to talk about the dad for rent. The real question for that woman who needs a dad for rent is, can I yell at her while we're working on a car engine to hold the light steady? <laughs> you got to do all those father-daughter <laughs> things? <laughs> I don't know why that got me, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's part of it, I guess. Hold here's, it steady! Here's Wadata. What's up, junkies? Happy Wednesday. Hey. All right, here we go. It's my audition for fill-in father. Hold the flashlight still. <laughs> wow! You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll just do it myself. Two guys, one joke. <laughs> uh, let's go to one more. Here's Muff Mouth with a song. Oh, what's going down, junkies? Hey. When Sabrina's out, it's the Broho Show. Hey, when Sabrina's out, it's the Broho Show. Hey, it's just like secret shows, except with less swearing. True enough. Thank you. Hey, for Josh, that. pick me for Fritz on the street. Hi. Good move. What's your name in. again? Muff Mouth. His name was Muff Mouth. I'll yes. think about it, Muff Mouth. Uh, we want to hear your voice next. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. We'll get to some of those momentarily. Um, we'll also get to the update on the daylight uh, carjacking story. Josh, have you been following that at all? This lady that they they went up to her at the stoplight in the Durango. Oh, and, the uh, green Lexus or whatever, uh, Acura. Yeah, the Acura. The yeah. Acura, the green Acura. The weirdest detail still that still sticks with me. There's only one, was it 2002? Yeah. Green Acura? Uh, whatever they were like narrowing down on, there was three of them and two of them were impounded. So yeah. there was only one of them. 
There's only one out there in the wild, a car like this, a green Acura from 2002 that came up behind this Durango. Clearly some sort of gang or like not even just a regular running your mill neighborhood gang. This was some advanced stuff. These are like organized militia type groups that are operating during daylight hours in the United States of America. Some alarm bells going off here, friends. And we got some news on that. We got an update. Um, the woman who was in the vehicle, she has a long name. It's Catherine Alta Gracia Guerrera de Aguas Vivas. And she, unfortunately, which is dead. V- very Hispanic, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. But if you translate her last name, it's Life Water. So it sounds Native American. Oh, Aguas Vivas. Uh, yeah. Life Water. Muy bien. And she was eventually taken to about an hour later or within the hour to some construction site where they shot off about a dozen rounds and then they lit her vehicle on fire and it burned so badly that in that short time span, they couldn't even tell what type of vehicle it was. Lots of weird things going on here. And I wanted to talk about the newest details from the victim's family. So we will do that. It is coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on Colonial Drive this morning. All lanes are blocked eastbound between Blueford Avenue and Blackwood Avenue. There's an earlier accident still causing a bit of delays eastbound between Goldenrod Road and Chickasaw Trail. And expect delays. The accident's off to the side now on State Road 408 westbound at I-4. Just uh, travel with caution in these areas. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm This This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is ragging its feet with multiple emergency response teams ready. Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Handyman Roofing to get it done. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people. Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's Frank Gay FrankGayServices.com Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. 
Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando, another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com and with my insurance my new windshield was no cost to me safe light even handled my insurance claim which was the best cracked windshield just go to safelight.com and let safe light take care of everything safe light repair safe light replace this year full of real radio is sponsored by wasi's meat market the best place to buy a big green egg portions of the following program were pre-recorded <laughs> Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Win. W-I-N. Win. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This... In just a moment, thank you for joining us on the show today. We appreciate it, and we appreciate you for hanging out with us. If you miss any of the show, go to the website. Again, it's thenewsjunkie.com, and there you can learn more about all things the show, get the podcast links, and everything else you might need. An update, another one coming to the website, and I assure you, and I assure C Lane, because he doesn't believe me on some of this stuff, that this is one of the final updates to the website it's the before. final update <laughs> I, I know, to the next one and the you next, think next sometimes one. i'm an endless tinkerer i know i got the reputation that i'm an endless tinkerer you're the keep george doing. lucas of uh radio show websites tinker 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 till i until it goes wrong it, like it was doing well and then a boom tinker and I, I break it fix it till i break it and all the kids, all the all the guys have walkie talkies now. <laughs> instead right. of guns. Uh, this is uh, redoing, redoing the dispatches page and doing a couple of other key elements of the website and making things better. And then finally, after that, there'll be the last little bit, which will be to uh, update the web dispatch recorder so that it's of a higher quality. And we should be cruising for a while. It should be the best radio show podcast live stream related website that exists on planet earth only costs one bajillion dollars and uh and finally the uh, national nightmare is over of building it and bleeding uh, money until i almost died 
So that is on the way. And if you go to the website, just uh, know that there's some updates coming your way very, very soon. Okay, we've been following this story, and it's because it is just a truly interesting story with more twists and turns than anybody could ask for, and then some. Even Josh has been watching this story, he says, about this uh, broad daylight carjacking. Woman is in her Dodge Durango. She's in a white Dodge Durango. A green Acura pulls up behind her. One person gets out of the Acura. There's at least another one in there, maybe more. And the one person who gets out has like an assault style weapon, goes up to the vehicle, is wearing a mask and all kinds of stuff, tells the woman, open the back door, let me in, open the back door. She opens the back door. He gets in with his gun behind her and then forces her to drive to a site where they killed her and they lit her car on fire and burned both until they were almost unidentifiable, right? And all of this happened in rush hour traffic at 6 p.m. with the sun out. And it looks very, very, very much like this is some high-level gang action, like this is some sort of mob-esque stuff that's occurring. Uh, Maybe this is something really big in the drug world. Who knows? But there are lots of questions. One is... And there are a lot lot of guesses, too. Lots of guesses. A lot of... A lot of guesses that seem based in uh, all your favorite Netflix shows. Yeah, any any conspiracies you've seen that are like, Ooh, wow, that's kind of interesting. That's plausible. Mm, I'm trying to think. There were a lot of like, uh, oh, she was a drug runner and they tried to run off with the money or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I've seen people saying she's like a hooker, I, which I, I don't think there's a shred yeah, of don't evidence on really, that. that. You don't go that far mm-hmm. with just a hooker. It doesn't, that's not what something. happens. Yeah, you're right. That is not what happens in the hooker world. So true. <laughs> I don't know much about it, but Take I'm, it I'm from sure. three experts. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it doesn't seem like that's the thing that happens over there. So question number one, what was this woman doing in Central Florida where she was? Why was she away from Homestead, which is where she lives? Not to say that people don't travel and do things. But her husband said she was there to visit family. She she doesn't have any family. There's no family in Central Florida for this woman. She lives in the Dominican Republic, or that's where she was from. And then she lives in in South Florida, you know, Homestead. That's where she uh, has her roots. She doesn't have family in Central Florida. So if that's not why she was here, which is what they said, what actually was she doing here? She was only here for around an hour before they got on her tail and started following her and ramming her in this Acura she calls her husband. She says, hey, uh, what do I do here? This Acura is ramming into my bumper. And he goes, whatever you do, don't stop. And no one calls 911. She doesn't call 911. The husband doesn't call 911. Uh, once she's dead, the cops call the husband because the number is on the back of the Durango with for sale. And the cops call him and, and they say, what's going on here? And he never, he never called the police. Your wife calls you. She says that somebody's ramming into the back of me. I'm in danger for my life right now. I'm freaking out. And you don't call the cops. That's very strange. That's number question. Number two, why did nobody call the cops? What else is, is going on here? And the question number three is where are these people? Where are the people who did this? Why are they doing this? Why are they operating like this in broad daylight? And and if it was night, it wouldn't make it any better. It just would make it a little more understandable. And it makes us look like some sort of third world country. Like this is the kind of stuff that would happen in El Salvador or Honduras or some of these places where the gangs control things. The cops don't control things. In fact, one of the cops has already been arrested for assisting the husband whose wife was killed. They recorded a phone conversation where they were trying to get information out of the investigators. Hey, what do you got? What do you know about this so far? What do you know? And the cop was lying and recorded it and sent it back to the husband. So the cops got their own problems here. And that's probably question number four, I would guess. But now we know a little something new, a little something new on this story. The father of Catherine de Aguas Vivas is remembering his daughter. Aguas Vivas was the victim of a victim of a carjacking in Seminole County last week. Law enforcement believes it was her body that was later found in a car that had been set on fire in Osceola County. For the first time, we're learning more about who she was. It rocked our family, he said in Spanish, speaking with a TV station in Miami, Florida. According to law enforcement, Aquas Vivas had been living with her husband in Homestead. 
Her husband told deputies she was in Central Florida to visit family, but they haven't been able to find any family members in the area who are expecting her. He said his daughter was a mother with a six-year-old girl of her own. Oof, that is terrible to hear. She was a college graduate. He emphasized how smart she was. And Santo Domingo, that's in the Dominican Republic, she studied English at a young age, he said. In university, she graduated studying English for four years and continued studying and finished when she was 21 years old. He described Aguas Figueres as caring and well-behaved. This from Wesh uh, News. Somebody with as many friends as anybody he'd ever heard of and never had any problems with anybody. Finding out what happened, what happened was shocking and devastating. He says he came home and found his wife crying. The neighbor had already communicated to her what had happened, and that's how we find out about the situation. To the people out there who know what happened, he's asking them to cooperate with law enforcement because today was my daughter. Tomorrow, it can be the daughter of someone else, this gentleman says. So what happened? We still have all kinds of questions. We have many questions. We know that the people who did this, they were operating in some sort of power structure where they were fine doing this, even though there were people everywhere witnessing it. Yeah, they didn't seem to be afraid. Yeah, they did not seem to have any level of fear about being a, a, a criminal in daylight what? and and with people everywhere watching. It could be based on experience. You yeah. know, it could be uh, they, they're fine with doing it because they've done it before. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we know that they uh, probably murdered a tow truck driver the day before this happened. Right. Yes. Yeah. Somebody towed their vehicle and the guy ends up in a hail of 100 bullets murdered. And the green Acura was at the scene of that as well. And that is, is also very, very, very concerning. They're murderous gangsters operating seemingly with impunity and not scared of law enforcement. There's a reason why they're not scared because they think they have more power on their side. And they think maybe because they have other reason to believe so that they're not going to get in trouble for doing this or that it's worth it to risk it. But they don't just target any rando. They're not just wandering around. They go, Dodge Durango for sale. Let's let's get these. No, 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 no. They knew exactly who this woman was. They knew exactly who she was, and they had some reason to go after her. And when her husband heard that a vehicle was running into her, he didn't say, well, that's weird. Try to flag down a police officer or you know, try to go somewhere public, and maybe they won't be able to, to get a hold of you. He said, don't stop. For any reason. He knew who this was, too. I guarantee you. I guarantee you he did. He knew something about what was happening here. What do you think is going on? Let us know. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com. Where are you seeing these theories? See, like TikTok, Facebook? Where oh, are you? texting service. Oh, really? <laughs> on our side? Yeah. The bastion of Instagram, truth. Instagram, Twitter. Y'all see this? We got, we got all the folks on the texting service who have solved this problem. And mind you, I hate to do this, and I don't mean to start a fight. But I have done, I had the research done. I invested a significant amount of money in this. And I've gone to all of the different platforms where people give us feedback in real time and afterwards on the show. So they listen to the News Junkie radio show, and either they're in chat in real time giving us feedback. Um, they're on Facebook. They're on Facebook, Instagram. They're, Instagram, Twitter, they're, y'all see this? they're calling the, the phone list. I had a huge research study done. Lowest IQ texting service. Average IQ of a texter, 47, 47. Wow. The average IQ over there. I'm stunned by this information. I don't even know if you could get to the texting service if you wanted to. I know where it is. I know who those people are. And I'm surprised with that level of IQ that they are able to type out messages on their cell phones or that they're able to provide for themselves in such a way that they are they're able to purchase a cell phone to begin with. There are a couple cool ones and smart ones over there, and you know who you are, right? You know, right now, if you're getting angry, but you're not, you're on the good, you know, you know who you are. Well, overall, that's just the results of the test. I'm not the one who came up with this. That's just what they said. Over on the chat side, average IQ, 185. 185. Oh, genius that's level. Off the scales, Mensa folks over Incredible. there. Incredible. Just really, really smart people. And the Texas service, not not so much. I'm sorry. Texters, please Don't send me a dispatch. Don't listen to him, Texters. He spe- he's spent less time on the Texan service than he has at House of Blues.
I used to <laughs> watch the texting service during the show. When it was just I, you? I know. It was just me. <laughs> it was, those were your that. only friends when it was just you, by the way. <laughs> it's true. It was just me. Me and a laptop in the texting service. Back then, you guys were at a 190 IQ. And it had never been measured that high before. But it's down. You got to bring it back up. We got to get it back up. We got to lift this up for the sake of your family and everybody else. I really think we can we can do better here. I can't have it up during the show anymore because it's very distracting. I will be talking about something. I will be usually ranting about something. And I'll look over and somebody will say something so dumb. Uh-huh. So <laughs> asinine. And you just wait for him. he waits for me to relay the dumb thing <laughs> over because I, I I get distracted by that all the time. It's not even like Sean's dumb show sucks. It's not even anything like that. It's usually somebody's take on what we're talking about that is just from another planet is just really really terrible. <laughs> it distracts me with how terrible it is, and that's why I don't look at that anymore. But some of you are cool. You know who you are in the Texas service. Some of you, we're going to work on this. We're going to make things better. We're going to bring it up. We're going to do some hooked on phonics. The spelling is off the charts bad. Just, my God. You guys, there's a couple of words that you every time you spell, you put extra O's in. You, you, you don't know how to use the right your. No, none of you have a firm grasp of which your is the correct your. That's lesson one when we get this class together, all right? Uh, okay, now that I've ranted at you on the texting service enough, tell me how you feel about it, pussy. Send me a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we return, we'll hear those. Plus, there is a relationship that sounds like the most difficult thing I've heard of in my life. What is it? Could any of us deal with this relationship? Well, we'll find out. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio. <laughs> Monsters in the morning. Man, like we were just messing around about the chicken, and he got really angry. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay, I was I, just playing I, with Ryan. I, I honestly <laughs> did get mad about that because Ryan was making me mad because because everything I said, he was poo pooing on, and I was really getting ticked off. Now that might be because I was worried about my wiener. <laughs> I mean, no, I, 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 the monsters in the morning. Real Radio one hundred four point one. The right shoulder is blocked on I-95 southbound between Old Dixie Highway and U.S. Highway 1 due to an accident. Slowly getting cleared up now. No major problems. There's an accident on Colonial Drive eastbound at Blackwood Avenue. Two left lanes are blocked there. An earlier accident still causing a bit of delays on Colonial Drive eastbound at Salem Drive. Just travel with caution in these areas. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's DEATakeBack.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Handyman Roofing to get it done. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. 
Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRI, SNRIs and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Deland Nissan gives you the best bottom line on our entire line. Shop by payment and value your trade in 10 seconds or less. Ready for your best buying experience? Stop by Deland Nissan today. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navaj. Navaj offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navaj so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navaj helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navaj difference yourself navaj is available at navaj.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navaj nav A-G-E. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 159 the popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Win. W-I-N. Win. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Dispensing unsolicited advice on a wide range of pointless topics. Rolling in right now, and that's how you join us on the show. Imagine that we care about what you have to say, and you can say it over at thenewsjunkie.com with your dispatch right now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with Courtney. She, uh, she's uh, 
and she constantly is saying things. And I'm like, where did is you? She's say still that? saying the same thing from yesterday. No, this new. Somebody I go out there. Suck me. <laughs> she's not saying <laughs> that anymore. Thank God. Uh, she. I go out there and she had some some hash browns from Chick Fil A. Lucky. She put one right in the middle of Lady's food bowl, and she goes, "It blew her world." And I said, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> she goes, man, I put the hash brown in the middle of her dog food. It just blew her world. And I go, mm-hmm. you mean blew her mind or rocked her world? And she goes, this blew her world. People yeah, people say yeah. that. Rocked her and, mind, blew her world. And then uh, do you guys remember where we were recording secret shows and we were talking about uh, um, the bad baby, Danielle Bregoli, catch me outside girl. Yeah. And, and Courtney's like. Yeah, I don't know why guys were gushing so hard for her. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I, I know what I think it means, but I don't know if you mean that when you say this. Or maybe you do. It's, it's constantly it's, it's things coming up. <laughs> where where was the first time you heard that? She She's uh, to, be, to be protected at all costs. It blew my world. <laughs> Just blew my world, man. Oh, God. Uh, I have a proposition Rocked for you. my guys. mind. <laughs> I know that you both are married men. Mm-hmm. I know that you're both happily married to your wives. But might I introduce the idea of being in a relationship like the folks who were profiled this week in the New York Post article about this polyamorous group? They're all together. They call it a radical 20 person polyamorous relationship. And, and in, it's outside of Boston where this, this just is sounds going like on. my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, can you imagine having 20 people inside the quote unquote relationship that you're engaging in? Maybe I'm getting older, but that seems like a nightmare to me. That seems really bad. And it doesn't seem like you can actually have a relationship with any of them. Other than just casual sex, which is fine if you want to do that. And it just sounds like a really large friend group that bangs each other. That's kind of what it is. Or like a bar staff or a small (laughs) town. (laughs) True. (laughs) Members of a 20-plus person polyamorous relationship are speaking out about their unconventional lifestyle. They said the structure of the nuclear family needs to shift. They want to kill the nuclear family, folks. Don't let them do it. I think we need it for some reason. There's good stuff that's coming out of this or used to be. Now we got 20 people couples. That's not great. It's chosen family just a little bit kinkier, says Anne, a member of their polycule. She told this to the New York Times in a feature that aired this week or that was printed this week. A polycule is a portmanteau of polyamory and molecule. And according to the Times, it's used to describe an intricate structure formed of people with overlapping deep attachments with one another. And it's like an evolving organism, they said. The polycule based outside of Boston came into fruition in 2020 as several couples and singles converged, and they all began having sex with each other. There's people between their mid-20s and their mid-40s. There's all sorts of different relationships going on. Like, I saw a graphic that somebody made of all the relationships, and some of them were, like, they have a sexual relationship with no emotional attachment. They have an emotional attachment, but they don't have a sexual relationship. Uh, this guy likes being with this other couple, so they sleep together, but he doesn't like doing this. And it's like, oh, my God, this all seems like I need a flow chart for this thing. i got to figure out how this is working. Not for me. Some of you are big into it, and that's good. I want freedom. I want you to be able to do it, baby. If you want to get in the polyamorous relationship and you want to, your hands are all over the place, you know, you're, you're, you're in every direction, people everywhere. Literally dozens of them, or almost. That's great, but I could not do this. If you have ever been in a polyamorous relationship or are currently in a polyamorous relationship, I'd love to hear what your situation is like. Send us a dispatch. You do that again over on the website. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Fire off a dispatch to us, and I want to hear what's going on. Explain out the land to me. Explain how the relationship works. If you, it's a good story, we'll hook you up with a badge on the website. And we'll also, I'll send you a like, poly uh, badge. Uh, yeah, I'll get the poly badge and I'll send you, I'll just send you the sex badge because that's what's happening there. I, and I'll also send you some magnets. All right. If you have a good story, send a dispatch over right now. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Tell us about your polyamorous relationship.
but it sounds like a nightmare to me. Let's hear from you. Let's see what you got. Uh, here's Anna Monopea with a dispatch for us. And it says, I have a proposal, Sean. I'm listening. Hey, guys. Podcast listener here. I actually get to watch the show live today for once. I'm reposting just because I was rushing and I spelled C-N and I didn't want to get skipped. So Sean with S-E-A-N. C-Lane, I love it that you're always on point with movie references and quotes. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Josh, always a pleasure when you're on. You Thank rock. you. Sean, I have a proposal. Listening. You pick me for Fritz on the street and you'll win. Doesn't matter C Lane wins most often, but that Josh crushes on rare occasion when he's on Wednesday. I'm your Huckleberry. All Wait, right. Pop, pop. We'll consider, at least for now, Beha over on Twitch watching the show. And you could do that at the newsjunkie.com slash live. I'm in a polyamorous relationship. My husband just doesn't know it. <laughs> it's going to be, hey, be a brutal hey, relation. <laughs> just flew in from Cleveland. Boy, am I on yeah, time. You know what I mean? Uh, just blew our worlds. Uh, Smackerel has a dispatch. Let's see what we got. Hey, what's up, junkies? Hey, Sean, what's the latest on uh, Corky's car? Have y'all changed? Decided to get something else yet? Or what? Just curious about to happen. Yeah. I wonder if this uh, whole deal with this girl getting murdered and the car getting burned, I wonder if that's, I mean, another thing would be gambling. What if the dude's just got tons of gambling debt? You know, they threaten um, to break your kneecaps or whatever, but... A little loud in the background, so I'm going to stop you, but I get the point of what you're saying. I don't think gambling goes this far. I don't think so. When we hear stories, and Celine and Josh, you guys have always heard the stories of the gambler didn't pay his debts and then mm. you know, knock out the kneecaps and that kind of stuff. I don't think there's gambling debt where how, you have... How large is the debt? Even if it's a million. What do you? What, what does killing the person do? Uh, sends or, a message. Maybe killing the person's wife, so the husband would owe this big gambling debt. I, to me, it's it's drugs, it's organized crime, it's those things more likely. Gambling, yes, there are some enforcers, but it would have to be a very, very big, 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 big gambling debt to warrant what we saw, to warrant somebody doing that. And I don't know, with legalized gambling so ever-present out there, especially in the sports world, I don't know that you would be seeing that. And I, whether whether you know this or not, a little secret for you. A lot of people who are gambling addicts are not addicts who are addicted to gambling at the uh, the slot machines or the cards tables or anything like that. Most gambling addicts are actually addicted to gambling on sports. Most of them are addicted to gambling on stuff with like, you know, a bookie or um, even going to the casinos and the sports stuff. And it's not all of them. But a lot of them are a big portion of people who are addicted to gambling. It's the sports stuff. Is it, I just is it don't they can't watch world. sports. Like if it's not, uh, if there's not something on the line. You know, I'll be honest with you. I think it's born into you. I think it's inherent in people. I don't think you can help it. It's kind of like being an alcoholic. Uh, being an alcoholic just means that when you get drunk, you process alcohol differently, and it either leads to you doing it nonstop and it disrupts your social life and your work life, or it leads to you having bad times when you drink too much, maybe bad personal relationships, uh, fights, uh, violence, those kind of things. But And, and I think that's somehow inherent, it, it, or it seems to be. Like road rage and these other things, I think you're born with that gambling bug. I don't have it, once again. Thankfully, you know, I'm thankful I w wasn't born with all of these things. You want to get real controversial? I think when people are into the kid stuff, I think that is something that is inherently, I don't think it's a learned thing. I think it's something that is, is born into an individual and God forbid you get struck with that. And your goal then for the rest of your life is not to give in to any of those desires and maybe just become a eunuch or something. So I think you're born with a lot of those things, those terrible, terrible behaviors in your body. And I don't know if any of those lead to this. I think it's organized crime. I think it's some sort of gang, some sort of big time violence like that on a larger, scarier scale. Let's go over to Osman. It says my wife and I are in a poly relationship. Okay. Let's see here. So my wife and I are polyamorous and we wouldn't exactly say that we've been successful because we've never found, you know, like a real lasting partner or other partners uh -huh. before but you know we've been accepting of you know that we are polyamorous 
And a lot of that came from the struggles that we had when we dated back in high school and, you know, mainly my struggles of, you know, being a horny teenage boy. Um, and we kind of just, you know, talked and found out that it's not that I or we, you know, can really just stay with one person all the time. Sometimes right. it's nice to have other people so you that get bored. are closer than just friends. To you get bored and you don't want to be mon monogamous. You want to have a little extra excitement in the mix. Although some people who do that just do it for a second, have like a threesome or, or whatever, and then they go back to life. The polyamorous thing seems to be you drag it on. You tend to drag it on for longer, and the person is mm. actually part of your relationship. And he just can't seem to land that uh, lasting relationship side of things. More people here joining the show. I want you to do the same. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Get your opinion our way. Here's Big Bad Beard. Hey, news junkies. Hey. So I'm on the whole train with this lady that got killed with, uh, I mean, I'm thinking she's like a drug mule. Uh, they're bringing drugs up. You know, oh, I'm here to see family, but I got no family here. And I'm only here for a little bit. Mm. You know, uh, I don't know, what, she here for an hour or something? That's long enough to come in, drop the drugs off, and, and go. Or come and pick the drugs up and like then so. head back. And, oh, guess what? Hey, cartel guys or whoever the hell knows, they're going to intercept that uh, those drugs and kill this lady and take them and get the heck out of there. That's what I'm thinking. And, you know, it's, oh, yeah, she has no family up there. No, I have no idea why she was up there. It's very strange, right? Yeah, drugs. It's drugs. All anyway, right. love the show, guys. Wiggle, wiggle, Here's pop, why pop. I think you're wrong, Big Bad Beard. I'll give you two reasons right off the jump. There's probably more, but just two that come to mind immediately. Number one, if somebody is going to be doing a drug deal, does a guy send his wife alone to a place to do that? Does he say, dispatch his wife? All right, you go up there, drive up there, handle this drug. I'm not coming along. And... Is the woman completely unarmed? She doesn't have anything to defend herself. She's totally by herself. That doesn't strike me as a good arrangement for a drug deal, number one. Number two, of all the people I've met or heard of in my life who are in the world of dealing drugs, I have heard of precisely zero who have their phone number on the back window of their vehicle as they're driving around doing it. I just don't think they would do that. Mm. I think... This this seems more innocuous because that's how yeah. you think you're being discreet about the drug dealing. You know, oh, you really? Put the phone number on the back of the vehicle, hiding in plain sight, kind of thing. Yeah, Smart. could be. Uh, I don't think that she was in town to, to drop off drugs, but I could be wrong. It sounds like something else to me. It sounds like something really bad. Like those Here's... people selling weed at the farmer's market. They are hiding in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, truly, are you walk by this van? They got uh they got like not a van but like a food truck. It's a bus. And it's the can of bus. Is that you're right? Yeah. It's the can of bus. The can of bus. And they have just pieces of paper on the side of it that says, "Through a loophole in the law, <laughs> we are now allowed to sell you weed." I read about the loophole. It's interesting and <sighs> it's weird. I, I, it's a little above my pay grade, but it's basically like there were some bills passed that redefined marijuana. Like, what, is, what does it have to be, what do the tests have to say mm -hmm. for it to be illegal versus cannabis that is legal? Right. Yeah, I, I don't know. It seems like a crackpot thing, though, to me. Is, is it not, or is it, it just... It would be like, um, all right, if they said all of a sudden that alcohol or, or like, beer, all right, has to be... Uh, at least four and a half percent alcohol to be called beer, mm -hmm. right? And there's a but there's a handful of uh, alcoholic beverages that are less than four and a half percent, and they're like, all right, kids can't have beer. Well, this less than four percent thing is still alcohol, but they're like, all right, it's it's a uh, it's not not considered beer, so we can have it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I know that uh, that. Realistically, kids can't have alcohol, period, right? But but uh, that's kind of what it is. They're saying um, because of this type of THC has such a low concentration that it's it not count. actually marijuana now because this new farming bill has defined it as such. So we have a bunch of this stuff with the low concentration, and we're going to sell it at the farmer's market. I don't want the low concentration stuff. If I'm going to get no, it, the, give me the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, but the thing is, once you burn it, it turns into the high concentration. 
Oh. Allegedly. Amazing. BDMX Con on Twitch says, I think the husband hired hitmen. I think that's more likely. That doesn't make any sense either. What, what hitman operates during daylight hours? A you ever seen one. that? <laughs> it's like, what kind of bargain basement hitman operates in a green, one of a kind Acura? I'm a hitman, but I'm the worst in the world. So I'll operate in a vehicle where there's only one of them. So the cops can easily track me down. That, that doesn't add up either. I think this is major drug kingpin gangland type stuff. There's something really big behind this. The guys in the masks with the guns operating freely like that reminds me of countries where there's little law and order, where this kind of stuff is out of control. That's what it looks like to me. What does it look like to you? Let me know. Go to the newsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. When we come back, jury duty with one of the two fine gentlemen. Oh, who... should I not do the next episode then? Oh, shoot. <laughs> when we come back, the next episode with one of the fine gentlemen that I'm looking at. I think it's C-Lane, uh, based on what he just said moments ago. And we got Fritz on the street on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can Josh do the most embarrassing thing possible and push Sean into fourth place? <sighs> embarrassing for you for me not for you at all yes. for me yes big time we'll find out that's coming up next on the news junkie coming up tonight on real radio at seven it's a corporate time with tom and dan brought to you by gringos locos and modern plumbing industries at 9 p.m it's real laughs with comedians james miguel ken and mike and real music starts tonight at 10 on real radio 104.1 from the cool today weather center cooltoday.com I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson on the check of your Central Florida forecast. And for today, another warm, sunny, and dry day is on tap. Plan for a high of 88 degrees in Orlando under a sunny sky. As we head into the end of the week, though, that's what we're talking about near record high temperatures. Temperatures will climb well into the low 90s as we head into the weekend. A high of 93 by Friday, 94 by Saturday. And that could come close to breaking some records. Rain arrives for Monday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Sunny side plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting. Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone, 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? I have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! FrankGayServices.com do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, 
offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan, visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from The Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning, right here on NBC. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of I'm not safe, but I'm not well. Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Do you find yourself stuck? Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. things happening in the world of entertainment and beyond our friend fritz is hanging out with us he's gonna do fritz on the street here momentarily a lot of guys on the show today imagine all the inches together i mean it's just it's a lot of males we'll have to mix in as many females as we possibly can with the dispatches so ladies come do our service no i shouldn't ask it that way shouldn't ask it that way Ladies, you go to the front of the line today. We want to hear from you. Send your dispatches. Go to the newsjunkie.com right now. And uh, you ready, c hmm? Yes. You You're sure? You don't look ready over there. You're clicking uh, around. Yeah, I'm ready. You got screens up. You're still doing work. Are you ready for this thing? Yes, He's I'm ready. ready. You got screens uh, up. Fritz says you're not ready. Your You're mom's not screens. Ready. Uh, all right, let's let's try it. <laughs> he's, he's ready with those good jokes. I know that. <laughs> let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Damn, girl. I'll, I'll give you something to nail or uh, screw. Nothing. With me. I have no explosions today. Aww. Damn it. That's it. Uh, I, I didn't pay the explosion guy off. Good. I hope your live studio audience is gone, too. You know, just for that. 
<laughs> I'll drag that one in. I'll make sure it's there. Next episode brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don, from Home Loans Radio. You know him. Fritz knows him for sure. Oh, yeah. And he's the guy that's going to help you get into a home. Get uh, get a lower rate. He's a mortgage wholesaler, and he passes those savings on to you. So if you are just uh, throwing your money away with rent or you're upside down in your house, you know, talk to that mortgage guy, Don. He'll demystify the mortgage business, and he'll help you out because he's got the answers, friends. And that's uh, always important when you don't know anything about buying a house like me. Like, uh, like, like, like Sean like was, yeah, yeah, Sean was just like that. I'm sure Josh we, 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 oh, uh, yeah. had some hiccups buying his house, but that mortgage guy, Don, he's going to help you out. So check him out. That mortgage guy, Don.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don. So did you guys see SNL this weekend? Anybody I see saw, Ryan yeah. Gosling? I saw a clip or two from it. I saw, I saw Ryan sure, Gosling as Beavis and Butthead. I'm yeah. sure that's the clip that's everybody's seen because that's the one that's going viral. And uh, during the April 13th episode of Saturday Night Live, cast, uh, cast member Heidi Gardner couldn't help but break character hard during the Beavis and Butthead sketch. And she's saying now that even during a rehearsal, it was just like hard to keep it together. <laughs> there were some people, because of the way she reacted, that were uh, were guessing that for some reason during the the dress rehearsal hours before the show that mm-hmm. they didn't do the full makeup, but all reports are saying that they did, and she still just like even after a couple practices could not hold it together. It was a really good sketch. It, well, did they do the voices just like Beavis and Butthead? They they didn't really. They just kind of. I think they acted like they didn't know what the cartoons were. But there was a point at which they laughed a little bit like them, and it was when they were seated together finally. Uh-huh. But uh, it was really funny. They actually for Mikey Day's Butthead costume, one of the um, one of the costumers or one of the, one of the people that's in charge of that stuff made a prosthetic uh, like denture for him to wear in his upper mouth. So that uh-huh. his gums would stick out like like <laughs> buttheads did. Nice, and wow. uh, it, it worked out. I've, I don't think I've ever like thought of what a live Beavis and Butthead could look like. I just recently watched uh, Beavis and Butthead do the universe, and it's it's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, uh, I've, I, I don't think I got through that whole thing because I think I had like some some something to go to, but uh, I, I should watch that. Busy guy. Man, I had something to go to. <laughs> Too busy for Beavis and Butthead over here. <laughs> now that I think of it, sleep. I think that was that was the thing that I went to. Yeah, I went to, to sleep. To sleep. Uh, uh, did you guys know that Janice Jameson got married? I did not. Uh, I, I didn't yeah, know. I heard about this. Uh, Unreal. Uh, unfortunately, I only know about it because it's ending. Uh, the oh. the wife of Jenna Jameson, uh, and this is weird because it's kind of like she's uh, she's citing like a breach of contract for this wedding. Mm-hmm. She is filing for an annulment saying that there were some things that were promised to her by Ms. Jameson and not even like really extravagant things. Just like, I don't know, that I would provide financially equally to the marriage and uh, not be addicted to alcohol or drugs. Yeah. But that didn't happen. Uh, Jenna Jameson's estranged wife, Jesse Lawless, says she should be able to cancel out their marriage because she claims she was duped. Citing a lot of debt, a half a million dollars, in fact, in tax debt, Jeez. and a broken promise to stay sober. Uh, there are some interesting tidbits that explain why exactly she thinks her marriage should be wiped from the books entirely, claiming she entered holy matrimony under false pretenses. Uh, before they got hitched, uh, Jenna told Ms. Lawless she was financially independent, debt-free, and that she'd contribute to the household financially. One of those things ended up being not true, namely that she had uh, been hounded by a $500,000 tax debt. Uh, And additionally, she did not do the whole sober thing because of the two things. She says, "Uh, this marriage is a fraud, and I'm out of here. Which which partly, like, I get it. Like, if it were me, I'd be like, all right, well, you didn't tell me about this debt part, but did you fall in love with her Financially, no. And, and, and isn't like part of the vows is for richer, for poor, yeah, yeah. Isn't that, um, all that stuff. It seems like you're not living up to that. It would be funny if the judge was like, um, "I'd like you to re- I'd like to review the vows. Like, uh, if they didn't say those parts, then he would grant the annulment. But if they did, <laughs> you're stuck with her." Yeah, I mean, you know, it's all the her addictions and and her past uh, behaviors that that might also have been. Yeah, yeah. It, well, but Fritz, that would have to be kind of, I'd go, 
do were you not at all aware that right. she had problems with alcohol and before you got married that seems like you would pick up on that but maybe not maybe i'm wrong i mean or was there could there be a situation where they go yeah um uh, that's fine you used to be an addict and uh now that you're clean i'll only marry you if you stay that way right true which yeah. still seems i mean and if that's what they agreed on then uh that's where they find themselves but uh anyway on to sesame street naturally yeah. <laughs> because uh, the letter S stands for strike, of course, and that's yeah. what the writers behind Sesame Street are preparing for. There's going to be a work stoppage if a new labor contract is not reached by April 19th. Unionized writers at Sesame Workshop, which also uh, are right behind Helpers and the Not Too Late Show with Elmo. Is that a... Does Elmo have like a not-so-late-night talk show that we don't know yeah, about? Yes. Can I just say... When the main writers in Hollywood are going to go on strike, I'm like, damn, they better get it together. These are the people who actually write the content, and they're the reasons why movies are good or bad or TV shows are good or bad. Mm -hmm. So pay, pay them, do the thing. When the writers for Sesame Street are going on strike, I, I think the threat is less. Like Sesame Street seems like a pretty cake job for a writer. I don't know. Though. I don't know because yeah. okay. I don't know if I could do that job. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Scene with the count where he counts stuff. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Is it that hard? It's you just a natural, Sean. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> all right. I'd be like, all right, Fritz. Like you uh, uh, are, are uh, obviously we know Fritz, a uh, prominent musician in town. Mm -hmm. Many many bands under your belt. True. Do you think that if somebody were like, all right, we need you to write music that's going to be successful with one audience and one audience only, and that is children? Oh, I could write the hell out of some children tunes. Yeah? Oh, oh yeah, kill it. Sure. yeah. Well, uh, well, then you're right, Sean. I just they're, can't they're... write dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet. It's, Fritz, there's so much money in that, too. Oh, I if know. you, We talked a long time ago to the guy who used to be the lead singer of Presidents in the United States of America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the band that did Lump and Peaches, Millions of Peaches. Mm -hmm. And he is in the world of just kids' songs now. And he cranks them out. And it's just simple little kid stuff. Like, that's a sheep over there. Look at the sheep now. And it was simple kid, <laughs> kid stuff. And making money. Just printing money mm -hmm. off of this stuff. I mean, I, but is he printing money? Because there's, I, I feel like that that... Is a very saturated market. Like right now, you think so? Uh, right now, I'm getting to the stage where uh, my wife is starting to put on like cartoons and and stuff for the baby oh, that yeah. that eventually he'll start repeating and that he'll start like paying attention to. I mean, he's paying attention to. He's looking at it. He doesn't know. You know, he doesn't know what he's looking at. But yeah. eventually, he's going to start learning the words to this crap. Yeah, and, you you know way more about this than I do because you're playing the songs for the kids. But so. I think but I think there's so damn much of it uh, that I'm like I I don't know is it hard is it it can't be easy to get yourself recognized in that world like if if you're the one that makes like you know soothing baby sounds to get them to go to sleep how much of that, that how much of that is there let's just put that sheep song out there that I just put together for sure. that's banger well, territory that's why I recorded it. Uh, <laughs> that's why, that's why you Gabba Gabba was was so good. That was it cool. It was crazy, and it was like yeah. made for adults. Uh, uh -huh. Good news for people who hate Ticketmaster. They're getting sued. Well, Live Nation is getting sued by the Justice Department for antitrust violations. Uh, U.S. lawmakers grilled executives at a hearing in January 2023, which in a rare event brought together Democrats and Republicans over the, country, uh, the company's industry dominance. And now... The parent company, a Ticketmaster, will allege the ticket company has used its market-leading position to harm competition for live events. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly is uh, whining that he got banned from Coachella. Desi Arnaz, and I listen, you guys know that I love a good Bloody Mary, but somebody mm -hmm. just revealed in a podcast that Desi Arnaz almost every morning would have a bowl of tomato soup filled with vodka. <laughs> and I can think of nothing oh, yeah. more vile like, is it warm? <laughs> what the hell, man? That is hardcore. <laughs> uh, his well-balanced breakfast uh, each morning was a big bowl of tomato soup uh, loaded with vodka, according to I Love Lucy's camera coordinator, Maury Thompson, Jeez. on the Plot Thickens podcast. A couple of sips of it, and he's gone, gone and staggering, going to sleep. Just the worst, I guess. Kind of difficult to deal with after the big vodka tomato soup on set. 
On the boob tube tonight, Rob McElhenney and Chris Stapleton on Kimmel. John Lithgow joins Stephen Colbert and NBC is in repeats. That's it for today's next episode. Thank you. Oh, my God, they're back. Thank you. Jesus. I appreciate all of you. Wow. Massive audience today. Oh, yeah. yeah. They really they're showed huge. up. I think some of that's for Fritz, though. Oh, Fritz now they're in the street. quietly amongst themselves. <laughs> waiting, waiting for Fritz. <laughs> they're like, he said he couldn't write Sesame Street dialogue. <laughs> Fritz on the street coming up in just a moment. And we represent you. So now's your time to get our attention over on chat or elsewhere. We'll pick one of you each and we'll battle it out. Fritz on the street coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Traveling on I-4, there's a bit of slowdowns westbound between Sand Lake Road and approaching State Road 535. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429, and it's mellow on the Greenway. The right lane is blocked, causing a bit of delays on Florida's Turnpike southbound south of County Road 470. And authorities are clearing up an accident on Colonial Drive eastbound at Blackwood Avenue. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James. Birmingham. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friend. Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Boss, did you know Safe Touch Security is the home of the 45 second or less guaranteed response? Of course, it's just one of the reasons why I hate Safe Touch. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select security systems. Call 888 723 8682 or go to safetouch.com. State license EF 201945. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people. Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at fifteen nine. The popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. Help DEA keep our community safe and healthy 
include by participating in National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 27th. Take action right in your own home by cleaning out your medicine cabinet of unneeded medications. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at deatakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent prescription drug misuse before it starts. That's deatakeback.com. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for three seventy nine dollars post haste. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Close out prices. 0% APR financing. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando today. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, bank, B-A-N-K, bank. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. of radio and an interesting showdown today because it's myself versus C Lane versus Joshua Fowler. Josh <laughs> is with us today and Josh is actually on the scoreboard for the year for Fritz on the street. My biggest nightmare is that even though he's not here all the time to play, he bumps me down to the fourth spot. I don't want to be in fourth place. That's terrible. That'll be my worst year on record in Fritz on the street. And this from a guy who won one year. Mm -hmm. I won the whole year for Fritz on the street. The first year. <sighs> yeah, I got I need to come back. What I happened, need to come dude? back. I don't know. The wheels have fallen off the car, Josh. It's just a real mess. But we're going to do Fritz on the street here momentarily and what we need to do is pick who we're representing because if we win, they win. And you get your hands on the very rare Fritz on the Street magnet. It's the new version of this. The new version for Game of Magnets of the Fritz on the Street magnet is coming out very soon. And you can get your hands on one of the first ones. I pick Tanya on YouTube. 
I will be representing her if I win. She gets the magnet. What about you, C Lane? I am picking uh, Reese, who I ran into at the first stop on the brew bus uh, over the weekend, and it's his birthday. So, uh, Reese, happy birthday! You're getting picked. Happy birthday! All right, bud. Reese from the brew bus. I'll put that down. And Josh, what about you? Who are you representing? Uh, based on that lovely song earlier, Muff Mouth. Okay, Muff Mouth, and that's from oh. Dispatches, and that'll get us all set. Am I playing the stuff over here, C-Lane? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, all right. All good, all set. I haven't done that in a little while, so I have to locate it. Just give me a moment, and we're ready to go. Fritz, biggest question of the day. You ready to go? Hell to the yes. All right, let's do this. Well, no, let's do Fritz on the street. Now it's time I got the better. Better. On the street. Hello, Sean. Hello, C Lane. Hello, Joshua. Hello. Hello, Fritz. Fritz on the street, sponsored by Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go. Just call Mo 866 Call Mo. That number again, 866 Call Mo. In first place for Fritz on the street with 108 points, we have Christopher Lane. Yeah. In second place with 93 points, we have Sabrina Ambra. Yeah. yeah. In third <laughs> place with 87 points, we have Sean Wasson. Yeah. <laughs> and in fourth place with 44 points, we have Josh Fowler. Oh, Let's man. go. <laughs> if, he, if he somehow overtakes me, I will be so furious. He's been sharpening knives and doing cocaine all morning. I have. All right. <laughs> Let's see if that helps out. There's eight questions, four current event questions, and four general knowledge trivia questions. If you think you know it, chime in for that bonus point. Were these uh, asked at uh, Cavo's uh, for Fritz's trivia last night? That is correct. Funhouse. Thank you for asking. Fritz's Funhouse. It's uh, Tuesday night. Trivia night I do each week at Cabo's Bar and Kitchen, and the participants stayed around. We had 12 people participate nice. in Fritz on the Street, so quite a lot. Uh, of course, only eight were picked for each uh, each question, each answer. So if you think you know it, chime in, and away we go. Question number one. Uh, over the weekend, who made headlines after a disastrous DJ set at Coachella? Josh. Josh. Grimes. Grimes is correct. Oh, no. Over the weekend, who made headlines after a disastrous DJ set at Coachella Festival? Grimes is correct. Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Grimes? Oh, six. Six. Mm. Five. Five for C Lane. Three. And three for Sean. Question number one with answers of three, five, and six. Over the weekend, who made headlines after Damn a disastrous it. DJ set at Coachella Festival? I have no idea. Grimes. Don't know this one. DJ Polly D. Oh, that is definitely Tim McGraw. Kesha. She called out P. Diddy. I have no idea. <laughs> Grimes. Ice Spice. That would be two. Oh, so, Sean, with a guess at three, picking up one point. <clears throat> and away we go to question number two. What British pop artist sings the songs Smile, Hard Out Here, and Five O'Clock? Oh, man. What British pop artist sings the songs Smile, Hard Out Here, and Five O'Clock? Uh, 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 Sean. Sean. Ed Sheeran? That is incorrect. Ceiling. Ceiling? Bread. That is incorrect. <laughs> I thought you were going to say bread shearing. Bread shearing. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Uh, that's going to be Nathaniel Bedingfield. That would be Lily Allen. I was close. Oh. Josh, you got question one right. We will start with you. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Lily Allen? <sighs> Three. Three. Two. Two for Sean. Two. And two for C Lane. Question two with answers of two and three. Ding, 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 Ooh. ding, ding. Who knows their Brit pop stars? What British pop artist sings the songs Smile, Heart Out Here, and Five O'Clock? Lily Allen. Bono? Bono? No. <laughs> Elton John? Sean Mendes. Harry Styles. <laughs> yes! Lily Allen. Lily Allen. Nope. Whoa! That would be three. Yes. So Josh is picking up two points. And C-Lan and Sean with your guesses of two, each picking up one point. Moving on to question number three now. On Tuesday, a massive fire severely damaged the 17th century stock exchange of which European country? Oh! Sean? Sean. Norway? That is incorrect. Oh. C-Lan. C-Lan. France. That is incorrect. Probably would have said Scandinavian. Josh. Josh. Finland. That would be Denmark. I was close. Oh, God. Josh, you got question one right. We will start with you. 
Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Denmark? Copenhagen, y'all. Uh, zero. Zero, Goosey. One. Mm. One for C Lane. Two. And two for Sean. Question three with answers of zero. One and two. On Tuesday, a massive oh fire God. severely damaged the 17th century stock exchange of which European country? I'm not sure, but that's so sad. Denmark? Denmark. I'm going to have to go with England or the UK. Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, Denmark. Is it France? That would be Greece. That would be four. What the hell? So no points awarded on that one. Ugh. We I, move on. I can't figure out what these people know and don't know. They know Denmark Stock Exchange, but they don't know who Grimes is. Yeah, half of the have bag. We, uh, have we gotten a single ding, ding, ding yet? We got one. We got one. All right. <laughs> yeah. hey, Moving on to question four. Yeah. That's the it was Josh. Point. Josh was the one that got the two points. That's why I remember it. Damn it. Moving on to question four. That's the halfway point. After question four, I'll tell you so far who is leading in Fritz on the Street. Question number four goes like this. Who was the first person killed in the Boston Massacre accelerating the American Revolution? Uh, Sean. Sean. Not a lot of people know this, actually, but (laughs) it is Neil McNeil. That is incorrect. (laughs) Josh. Josh. It's Crispin Glover. I cannot remember his last name. <laughs> that, that That's partially, Michaels. partially correct, but no, incorrect. Damn it. Ceiling. Ceiling. Crispin Hale. That would be Crispus Attucks. Crispus. Oh, Crispus oh, Attucks. I was right there. Josh, you got question one right. We will start with you. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Crispus Attucks? Cool one. Name. Cool name. It is a cool name. One for Josh. Um, zero. Zero. Goosey for Sean. Also zero for me. And a goosey for C Lane. Question four with answers of zero and one. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, Come on. who, who was the first person killed on the Boston Massacre accelerating the American Revolution? I have no clue. John Smith. No. James Quincy? John Flagg. Uh, John Flagg. Slave, Christmas Addicts. <laughs> my cousin yes. would be mad because he was my history teacher, and I don't remember the name. Oh, my God. The only thing I could think of is Paul Revere, but it's not him. Franklin? That would be one. Franklin? <laughs> the, the turtle or the guy? <laughs> I love that. So, Josh is picking up two points, and Sean and Celine with your guests of Ooh. zero each picking up one point. That means in Fun. first place. Franklin, I'm, I'm assuming like the Madonna of his day. No other names. Uh, it's just, yeah. just a one-name wonder. I was thinking the puppet from Arrested Development. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After question four with four remaining in first place with five points, we have Josh Fowler slash Muff Mouth. In second place with three points, Sean Wilson slash Tanya. And in third place with two points, Christopher Lane slash <sighs> Reese. So, sorry, everybody. <laughs> we now head on over to question number five. Recently, a real estate tycoon convicted of stealing over 12 Josh, billion. Josh. Vietnam. Vietnam is correct. Recently, what? Can we? <laughs> I don't even know the story. <laughs> what? Do you know this, Sean? No. <laughs> All right. Who I'm a this? learned man. Recently, Who is this? Dark night of Fritz on the street that is wandering in here. Jesus. I told you, cocaine and knives. Uh-huh. Recently, a real estate tycoon convicted of stealing over $12 billion in fraud was sentenced to death in which Southeast Asian country? So that's what it was. Uh, Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Vietnam? Uh-oh. That's crazy. They're going to kill her. Yeah. Well, oh, it's a know. woman? Yeah. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two. Two for Josh. One. One for C Lane. Zero. And a goosey for Sean. Question five with answers of zero, one, and two. Uh, Recently, a real estate tycoon convicted of stealing over $12 billion in fraud was sentenced to death in which Southeast Asian country? Vietnam. Uh, I'm going to guess the Philippines. Singapore. I heard this one, too. I don't know. Vietnam. Vietnam. Myanmar. Africa? I don't know. That would be three. <laughs> Africa. She said a continent, and then she said, I don't know. <laughs> three. So, Josh, with a guess of two, picking up one point. Yeah, I'll she was great. Yeah, uh, she's funny. We got three remaining. Moving on to question six. Who was the first Disney princess with a tattoo? Celine. Celine. Moana. That is incorrect. Sean. Sean? Um, 
Elsa? That is incorrect. Josh. Josh. Pocahontas. Pocahontas is correct. Oh. Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Pocahontas? Oh. Four. Four for Josh. These are the hardest questions ever. Yeah, they are. The <laughs> um, three. <laughs> three for Sean. I think a lot of people are going to think Moana. I'm going two. And two for Sea Lane. Well, here's the deal. I don't have the answer in the file, so I'm just going to hit a ding, ding, ding and see if anyone picks oh, it boy. up. Ding, 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 ding. Answers of two, three, and four. Let's see who oh, says Who was the first one. Disney princess with a tattoo? Cinderella. Britney Spears. Oh, around the arm. Uh, Pocahontas. 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 That one. Come on. That would be six, so no points awarded. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, they know they're tattooed. You damn Disney smart princesses. Two. On a technicality, I would say we don't te- we don't really know because some of these, who knows? Maybe they got a hidden one somewhere. Oh, that's you think true. Cinderella had a tramp stamp. Oh, yeah, you know she did. <laughs> I hope so. You know she did. Uh, we have two questions remaining. No, uh, Little Mermaid had look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Right above her, <laughs> you know. Uh, something something dingle hopper (laughs) (laughs) that's the title of the show Uh, two questions remaining question seven last week which NFL star former Heisman Trophy winner OJ Simpson OJ Simpson is correct and acquitted murderer passed away at the age of 76 C-Lane out of eight answers how many do you think said OJ Simpson Fritz I'm going to have to go with eight eight oh Seven. Seven for Africa Sean. lady's going to miss it. I don't know. Acquitted murderer gives it away. Eight. Eight for Josh. Question seven. With answers of seven and eight. Ding, 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 ding. Who knows their murderer? Last week, which NFL star, former Heisman Trophy winner, and acquitted murderer passed away at the age of 76? O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. The Juice. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. That would be eight. Damn. Ceiling hitting a three pointer on that one. Josh picking up two points. Woo. And Sean with a guess of seven picking up one point. That mm. means we're embarrassing on. us, Sean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not great for the <laughs> least I could do. We head on over to question eight. I mean, I'd like we do. I'd like to be able to think that I've been distracted by doing different things today because Sabrina's not here. It's not that. I'm no. going th- I'm going through the questions in my head and going. This is the hardest friction in the street in the world. They are hard. <laughs> it is. We have uh, one question remaining, but let's uh, take a look at who is in lead. And and that's in first place, 10 points. Josh Fowler slash Muff Ooh. Mouth. In second place with five points, Christopher Lane slash Reese. And in third place with four points, Sean Watson slash Tanya. So we have 10, five, and four. Good yeah. job, guys. Anyone's game. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you liar, you're a liar. <laughs> Move. False. <laughs> Moving on to question eight. What is the capital of... <gasps> The Dominican Republic. Sea Lane. Sea Lane. Mm. Santa Domingo. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Santo Domingo. Okay. Sea Lane out of eight answers. How many do you think said Santo Domingo? Uh, well, <laughs> none of them had to say Santa like I did. Yeah, like, I was waiting for that, presents. That's like Saturday Santa or something. <laughs> that's a wrong answer. Santo Domingo. Sunday Santa. Oh, I'm sorry, because I got it. Uh, <laughs> A feminino instead of masculino. Uh, I'll go with uh, six. Six. Mm. Four. Four for Sean. Why not? Five. And five for Josh. Question eight with answers of four, five, and six. Ding, 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 ding. Who knows their capital? What is the capital of the Dominican Republic? Santo Domingo. Domingo. Uh, Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. El Salvador. Santo Domingo. <laughs> Dominican. Republican. Santa Domingo. <laughs> Santa Domingo. Nah. He's... I got that one! <laughs> that would be six. That means Celine is hitting a three pointer. <laughs> and uh, Josh with a guess of five, picking up one point. And it. in first place and leading on the day, winning Fritz on the Street with 11 points. Josh Fowler slash Muff Mouth in second place with good. eight points. Christopher Lane slash yeah. Reese. And in third place with four points, Sean Watson slash Tanya. That means in first place and still leading on Fritz on the Street with 108 points, 
Sea Lane. Yeah. In second place with 93 points. Sabrina Ambra in third place with 87 points. Sean Lawson. And in fourth place with 55 points. Josh Fowler. I just and need th- two more Wednesdays. And that is Fritz on the Street. <laughs> Thank you, Fritz. Thank you. Oh, man. That is brutal. Uh, congratulations <laughs> or whatever, Josh. Thank All you. Right. Congrats. Uh, Fritz, are you going to hang out with us today? You know I am, a man. Thank you so much. I love spending time with you. And it's going to be exciting as we roll on on a Wednesday. Make sure next week on Tuesday you go out to Fritz's Funhouse Trivia. This is a blast to go oh, out yeah. and play trivia, get some great food at Cavos, and you're going to have an enjoyable time. You might even be able to participate in Fritz on the street. So get over there and do that on Tuesdays. Follow Fritz on Instagram. No underscore regrets underscore coyote all right no underscore regrets underscore coyote uh, that is where you can follow him i'll have to put that up on the um on the links page over at the news so we can point people that way all right when we come back we will get into another app is going to be banned and it's not tiktok this time what is it well, it is coming up next on the news junkie is the Jim Colbert Show. Later today on the Jim Colbert Show, we'll have kittens in studio with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando. They're here for Animal House. Plus, we'll have four more chances for you to win $1,000 in our keyword contest. And all week, JCS Trivia, win them before you can buy them. It's tickets to Lewis Black at Hard Rock Live. All that, plus your calls, texts, and talkback later today. The Jim Colbert Show. Today at 3 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. All lanes are blocked due to an accident on I-95 southbound between Old Dixie Highway and U.S. Highway 1. It's causing delays and blocking the right lane northbound in that area as well. Construction is blocking the right lane on Florida's Turnpike, causing delays southbound south of County Road 470. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Nasal Guard. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning right here on NBC. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar. SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. It's Ladera! It's sensational! Orlando City is back on the road next weekend as the Lions travel north to face Montreal on Saturday, April 20th at 7.30 p.m. Tune in on FM 96.9 The Game and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Don't forget to tune in an hour before the match at 6.30 to catch kickoff minus 60, airing exclusively on the Lion Nation app. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air, been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. 
turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at millsair.com. Enjoying the news junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you're injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com. Recruiter.com slash free. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Moments like hearing my cat purr good morning mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand's Pelvis Cyclib. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. The free iHeart Radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one-hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now. Commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Bank. B-A-N-K. Bank. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. On the show, that's right, you're going to hear your voice right alongside us. No pressure, we'll be nice. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and record yours right now. No you pressure. Folks. Yesterday there was pressure. Why? What was the pressure yesterday? You were telling them um, uh, how bad they've been and uh, how they got to get better. I was just trying to encourage them. I was just trying to say, hey, folks, dispatchers need to step it up a little bit here. And I think maybe they did. Yesterday was a little bit better. I have faith in them. I think they did. 
All right. Well, let's see how they do today. <laughs> I might be eating my words later, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I do know is you folks will spend your money on just about anything. Uh, it's it's mind blowing to me. And I, I just have to salute you. I guess everybody's got pockets lit up with cash and extra money for stuff like what I'm about to show you here in a moment. But first things first. Wait, wait, wait. Anybody, Don't you have a um, chest set made out of crystal? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but I. Uh, that's beside the point. <laughs> it's a decorative piece. And. Uh, um, oh, you can't even use it. I. <laughs> All right, really, really fighting against myself here. Uh, got some problems on my hands. Anybody who is on the show right now who has a pair of Crocs, any Crocs owners amongst us? Josh, Josh yeah, is a Crocs they're owner. They're comfortable. I don't. Have I was any. wondering about Fritz. I was like, Fritz seems like he could maybe rock some Crocs on the weekend or Croc something. Rocker. But but he, he's, you're not Fritz. You don't have no, any. No, I don't have. I have loafers, but uh, I don't have Crocs. Uh, yeah, you got more style than that. No, nothing against Josh. Josh, you have great style. <laughs> Sorry, I you feel like you know, you've been you've been crapping on my style all day. <laughs> no, I think about between it. the mustache and the Crocs. <laughs> no, <laughs> looks you great. I'm some sort of uh, comfortable footwear pervert walking yeah. around. Here. You're, some, you're some troll. <laughs> uh, look at this. They sold out in a matter of seconds. A pair of Crocs. With a what? Pringles can side holster. Well, so, that, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It is really, really not a great looking God, item. Damn. And they sold out in a matter of minutes. They're for a hundred dollars a piece, and they have a Pringles can holster on the side of them. Uh, and chaos over on Twitch says Croc Gang. He's he's a Croc owner. Yeah, I know that. buddy. He, he, oh, yeah. he could. I could see him wearing these. I could see him trying to pull these off out in public, but it's amazing what people will spend their money on and good on Crocs because Crocs is brilliant at marketing. What other shoe company can go? Let's do a partnership with a company like Pringles or any other corporation and do a crossover product. Crocs can actually do that. Yeah. And, and then the Crocs, they, they have the other things. I forgot what they're called. The jingle jangles that you like me pop in oh, there. Gibbets. The gibbets. Yeah. They'll, it's a brilliant world. And some people swear by them. I've never had a pair on my feet. Uh, I could not bring myself to do it. Isn't that um, the, the the bag of stuff that you pull out of the middle of a turkey? What Crocs? No, no, the oh, giblets. Giblets. <laughs> giblets. <laughs> giblets. Yeah. Yes, I, <laughs> no gibbets, gibbets. Right? That's the, yeah. name, the name of the Crocs. I've, just, I've never heard of gibbets in my life. Oh, they're well, like I've little. Heard of Crocs. Uh, you plug them into the holes on the Crocs. And you can add a little flair, like it's okay. like pins or something that you can add to things. I, I'm, I'm thinking of like uh, the things I used to have on my bicycle. They were like they went on the spokes, yeah, and they had little like reflecty things. Also, yeah. you couldn't sneak up on anybody because it was like similar. Yeah, yeah, that's good though. You don't want to be well unless you're up to something. You're up to no good. Do you think they did market research on this, Sean? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they did, it worked, right? Yeah. Like somebody is willing to shell out a hundred of their hard-earned dollars to buy a pair of Crocs with a side holster where you put your Pringles. <laughs> that's something. That it's... says something. I, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> you see the other thing that's been uh, going around the internet that uh, uh, Ashley texted me about yesterday that was of particular interest to her, and I like saw it come through my Instagram feed and stuff. No, I don't think so. Stanley. The company behind the Stanley Cup, uh, yeah. the the, oh. the tumbler, not the uh, not the the hockey one. Your wife does own a couple of these Stanley more tumblers. more than a couple. She owns a couple couples. Um, uh, they have now have like a purse that you sling over that holds a <laughs> Stanley Cup and then has some other like side holsters to it, and like the video that came up in the advertisement it was like it was slung over there and it like it hangs <laughs> by your hip, and I'm like. If that thing's full of liquid, it's just going to splash everywhere. What? It just doesn't seem practical. You wear it like a revolver on your hip? No, you wear it like a purse. Yeah. Okay. Like I so, where on your like body? Like a shoulder where? sling. Yes. Like here? Yeah. Like on your side? Okay. Yeah, that seems strange. Uh, but maybe if it's got the straw, you can just, you know, and then you take your sip and you're on with your day. It seems that lower than really, that. Yeah, that looks strange. What I just did there. I'm glad nobody was watching. Uh, I do know this. I know that they're, the old does in Congress are out to ban something else once more. And it's not TikTok this time. And they say this could be more dangerous than TikTok. Did they, they ever, this app like, is worse. Did they ever ban TikTok? Did they? 
succeed on that front, or did they lose? They, did they, they take threatened the to do it. They were going for it, and then it, all the legislation is, like, stopped, grinded to a halt. It was, like, bipartisan legislation. They wanted to get rid of TikTok, China dangerous, whatever, and they were very, very against it. Now they say this is more dangerous than TikTok, and I know it is on at least 50% of the phones on this show right now. Oh, boy. Does that include yours? Yes. Okay. Mine is included. It's and on 50% of the phone. Is Temu? Temu. The Temu app, we used to call it Timu, but on their commercial for the Super Bowl, they told us to call it Temu, so we'll go along with that. Uh, they, well, they, they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the company itself doesn't know. <laughs> they don't know. It's they like the know. guy who invented the GIF or the JIF. He's like, please yeah. call it JIF. We're like, F you, buddy. Absolutely it's not. not. You dummy. Sorry. Sir, we made up our mind a long time ago. Yeah, and we, you think you I don't care what you say. This malign app is a pipeline of dumped counterfeit and slave labor products from China that is also gathering massive quantities of Americans' personal data, they say. Wow. Wow, not a band, not a not a fan. Well, thank not God, God I don't have that app. Do you have Oh, it? you don't have I have it on my phone. Fritz. I don't have it anymore. Fritz is the only one. And by the way, I haven't ordered anything off of Timu. I got multiple things I've ordered. Oh, so you and Josh both have all the slave labor stuff. Like, hey, I only have I, a little bit of slave labor oh, stuff. I didn't know you can get slave labor. I'm going to download it. <laughs> I don't think it's highlighted. Like, like it might be in uh, the eBay app or something. Okay, yeah. No regrets, Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> it said there's a bunch of folks in Congress who now want to shut down Temu uh, on the back of the TikTok ban that they were mulling for quite some time there. And I wanted to toss this out forever before we get geared up for um, jury duty. And there's some wild stories in jury duty today, including an update on the Riley Strain case. Uh, the guy who went missing in Nashville and they ended up finding him. He had drowned in the river and he was uh, very intoxicated at the time. Some new stuff coming out that's worth talking about. Uh, and we'll get into that. Uh, also, a um, it's worth talking oh, about, but not for the reason that you think it is. Oh, I, have got a, I have a whole different take on this. Okay. That I think is really, um, really surprising and really like it. it I, I have a lot of questions. I'm interested in hearing that. And there was a, a weekend at Bernie's situation that played out. Somebody got caught bringing a dead body somewhere, and we'll talk about that in jury duty. But in Dubai, they've had widespread flooding for a couple of days here. It's bad. It's they got as much rain in one day, in one day in Dubai as they generally get in a year and a half. How about that? Damn. Much rain in one day, as they generally get in a year and a half yeah. in Dubai. And there's a crazy video from that rain of somebody driving around in a Tesla, and mm -hmm. the water is, like, way up high. And all the people are like, oh, look how cool the Tesla's still running. It's like uh, Elon Musk is making submarines. And I'm like, yeah. you're not supposed to be in a Tesla in water like that. No. No. That is yeah. That is bad news. You're not supposed to have that powerful of a battery underneath you while you're in that much water. You are really risking it if you're trying that out. But one of the things that popped up, and we'll talk about this a bit when we come back, but they were doing cloud seeding in Dubai before all of this rain came down. And some people are blaming that for what happened. And if you don't know what this is, wait till you hear this. We'll talk about it. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. UCF football is losing wide out Goldie Lawrence and safety Nekai Martinez to the transfer portal. Martinez was a full-time starter this past season. Rays, they'll continue their series against the Angels later tonight. The teams have split the first two of their four-game set. And ESPN's WNBA draft broadcast set a record with nearly 2.5 million viewers driven by the generational talent in this year's class. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. I got to tell you about Mills Air. This is the best company. And when it comes to your air conditioner, you can be a little apprehensive. I know. When you think about what's going to happen, am I going to get ripped off? 
I don't know if the technician is lying to me or not. You don't have to think about any of that with Mills Air. Their techs are the best, and they explain things to you in a way that makes sense. And they know how to work on any kind of AC out there. So when Mills Air comes over, you're in good hands. In fact, they have preventative maintenance at Mills Air. This can save you money and even detect an upcoming breakdown. Find out about things before they happen with preventative maintenance from Mills Air. 407 407- 277 1159. That's the number. I suggest you call it now and get on a plan to do this every six months or whatever you want to do. They change the filters, they clean out the lines, and they tell you if your AC is going to be fine or if you've got some problems ahead of you with preventative maintenance. 407 277 1159. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online at millsair.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Every 2023 Nissan on closeout. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Get closeout pricing, 0% APR financing, no payments till 2025. Every single Nissan has to go by month end. Sutherland Nissan Orlando, OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See for details. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 10 I'm really glad to tell you about this great sponsor. It's Life Imaging FLA. They've helped save the lives of several of my friends and a bunch of our listeners thanks to early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer. You know, it's Stress Awareness Month, and one of the things people stress out about is how their health really is, and you don't really know unless you have a scan. Life Imaging FLA can help you get that scan. Matter of fact, they'll give you a free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is a value of $699, and you can get in there and It takes about six minutes. I was able to go in, and I know my heart is all good thanks to Life Imaging FLA. You pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, you say the words free heart scan, and you will be connected in seconds. You'll get the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. When you talk to them about the free heart scan, ask about the cancer screening. That's super important as well. It's Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the words free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills. A community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, 
which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Power on this spring and summer with Batteries Plus. In stores and online, too, you'll find batteries for your car, RV, boat, motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, and more. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. This is Real Radio 104.1. Online at RealRadio.fm. On your phone with a free iHeartRadio app. And on your smart speaker. Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. It would be my pleasure. Home of the world famous Game of Magnets. This is the new. Friends in West Palm Beach or on the Treasure Coast on Real Radio 92.1 or 101.7. Love you. Appreciate you. And you can listen for the keywords all day long and make sure you're paying attention and firing off those text messages when the keywords come in. Or go to the website is yeah, the best go, option. Go to the station website, enter in the keyword. Yeah, go over there, put in the keyword, and then just pay attention. You know, make sure you're on top of things and answer phone calls and stuff because you could win. We had a winner yesterday we on did. the show. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's because you're out there. You are tuned in. You're ready to go. Folks who are local and or who are anywhere who just listen to this station and who are in the business of advertising, this station has so many winners from the keyword contest. And this show does as well because our, our great listeners, the junkies out there who listen to this show. They are tuned in. They're listening to us. They are activated, Fritz. That is very, very right. And when they hear things just like ads, they are, they're moving on that. But I want you to win. So next keyword you hear, wherever you're listening, maybe you're in Rochester, maybe you're in Dallas, uh, you fire off that response over on the website, on the radio station's website, and then pay attention to your phone. And I hope you win. Hope you get some money. That'll make your week a whole lot better, I'm sure. Before we get into jury duty, and we'll see what Sealand has to say about the Riley Strain update, the Nashville kid who ended up drowning in the river, uh, I was telling you that in Dubai, where they got more rain in one day than they do in a year and a half. One day, they got more rain than they do in a year and a half, and they were cloud seeding at the time. They've been doing this for a very long time, since about 2002 in uh, Dubai and in the UAE. And they've been doing it to address water security issues. And as you probably have all guessed, I'm sure, when you seed the clouds, that means any time in the UAE when there's a cloud in the sky, they fly over it and they try to get it to rain. They try to turn the cloud into a rain cloud. And they seed the cloud. By to... adding water particles to the cloud? I am not even sure. Let's see if you could find that out. It says the Gulf States National Center of Meteorology dispatch seating planes from the airport and I, they, they work pretty well because they're drowning over there what were we gonna say fritz <laughs> yeah i was just like uh, maybe the pilot just like uh just dumps <laughs> like a cup of water <laughs> <laughs> he went a little harder than he should maybe yeah. it's like a whole pitcher this time or something because gulp. they said it downpoured it was so bad for any cloud that's suitable over the united arab emirates you make the operation they said and they seed these clouds and it's supposed to they're doing weather engineering. They're denying they're, it, but yeah. Oh, they're not. They're denying that they're doing it because the, the UAE government is denying cloud seeding took place before the floods. Okay. So they're saying not this time, but they're yeah. not denying it's a practice because we know that Correct. they do it as a practice uh, and they, they seed the clouds there. 
to alter the weather. So, But they're saying that they didn't do it uh, this week, c is what you're saying? The National Center of Meteorology, a government task force responsible for cloud seeding Michigans in the UAE, denied reports that it carried out the weather, weather modification technique in the run-up to heavy storms across the country, uh, therefore exacerbating flooding in places like Dubai. It says cloud seeding involves implanting chemicals and tiny particles, often natural salts such as potassium chloride, into the atmosphere to coax more rain from clouds. Plan God, friends, out there trying to get it to rain more than it can. They used to dance around for this. The natives, they used to do the rain dance to try to make it rain. Now we're up in the clouds. We're using science. We're trying to make this happen. But they say they, they didn't do it in this case. I'm not sure what I believe here, but it's pretty pretty intense. It's pretty interesting that they're able to pull that off. Uh, okay, um, jury duty. Oh, we have a limited amount of time here, and I want to get a little further into things. So what we'll do instead is we'll play a couple of dispatches, and then when we come back, we'll do a later jury duty so we can get into the Riley Strain update. And this woman who pulled a a straight-up weekend at Bernie's, she had a a dead body that she brought somewhere, and she got arrested for this. Wait till you hear her story. And also, the other item in jury duty is uh, somebody who nearly got killed by Wendy's. But right now, Mojo... Is talking about C Lane the influencer. Let's see. Right here. We got Mojo's dispatch for you. Let's listen. C Lane is a freaking influencer. Now I gotta go get a Stanley Cup purse. Nice. Oh. Thanks a lot. You're making it worse, C Lane. What are you listen, doing? I didn't say it was a good idea. I in fact was saying the opposite. Why would you want a strap for your for your tumbler? Mm-hmm. When it's just going to uh, splash your drink everywhere. I understand wanting the tumbler, but I don't understand the absolute craze with it. It's working for him, though, so that's awesome. Yeah, I guess There's... so you don't have to hold it in your hands, right? You can. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> or, no, I mean uh, it you... makes sense to think about this, Fritz. If you're going to the theme park or something, yeah, you, you don't have to hold the thing the whole time. That's mm-hmm. kind of cool. But what? But is it full of soda, or but is I it would like, cost? <laughs> who knows what's full of? Your dryness, Fritz. It's, uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, Fritz. <laughs> Here's Skip a uh, style talking about the website. What up, junkies? Hey, Sean, I got a question about this website here. Uh, one of my biggest fears came to fruition there, and it doesn't pick up from where I left off on secret shows. Uh-huh. Is that one of the changes that's coming? I really hope it is because I really hate to, uh, you know, move to another tab to do some other stuff. And then I got to look at the tab before I open it to find out where I am in the secret show. Uh-huh, that's then annoying. open the tab, which then it goes back to zero, back to the beginning. Then I got to try to pick up from where I left off at. And then the numbers don't even show as you're scrolling. You know, just little stuff like that. I just knew it was going to be a problem with secret shows. I just knew I it. knew it. So I hope that's one of the things you're fixing. All right, that's, that sounds annoying, and I do want to fix that. Um, you got to tell me, though, and everybody who's having problems with things on the website, you're not going to make me mad. Send me an email, tipsofthenewsjunkie.com. Being my... Ripping box, sec- ripping box. <laughs> security apparatus, being the... The, the beta testers out there is awesome. I love that. I want to make things perfect on all different types of phones and computers and, and those things. And we can do that. We'll put the effort into doing it for sure. Uh, I didn't know that was a problem. You can remember this, skip a style. You can always download the episodes. And then it'll just, you can play it wherever you want in, in another piece of software or anything. I'm kind of curious if that's even something that we can control. Like, uh, if, is that even a function of the player? I don't know. It could be. I, I'm not sure. But you can always download it. And if you download the file, then it should work more like you want it to. It's just a, a backup for you on your phone or anywhere else. Uh, okay, let's take that break I was talking about. When we come back, we'll get into the update on Riley Strain, the lady with the Weekend at Bernie's situation, and Wendy's nearly killing somebody. All that coming up on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Traveling on I-95 this afternoon. Bumper-to-bumper traffic due to an accident southbound between Old Dixie Highway and U.S. Highway 1. Two left lanes are blocked there, causing delays northbound in that area as well. 
There's slowdowns on I-4 eastbound between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535, and it's pretty mellow around the perimeter of I-4, including State Road 429 in the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take-Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post-haste. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid.
Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. This earful of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, Bills, B-I-L-L-S, Bills. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Real Radio. 104.1. Now back to the most viral newsroom on planet Earth. This is... But don't screw it up. But we'll be gentle if you send a dispatch over at thenewsjunkie.com right now. Uh, a delayed version of it, but here we go. We got to get this update on the Riley Strain story out of Nashville. The young guy who ended up uh, found dead drowned in that river. And there's some uh, new information that's coming out here that's definitely worth discussing. So let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury, ju- jury duty, excuse me, brought to you by the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident, you got lots of options when it comes to picking an attorney, and it's up to you to make a smart one. The smart one is to call Mo, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. There are a bunch of things to talk about, but let's start in Nashville with Riley Strain. For those of you who don't know, he's a 22-year-old. He was out drinking with his friends in Nashville. He uh, gets kicked out of one of the bars. It was a bar owned by a country singer. I forgot which one. Luke. But Luke Combs. Luke Bryan. Luke, Luke, Bryan. Luke, Bryan. Luke Bryan's uh, bar. It's uh, gets... Luke's 32-something. At the same of this place? Yeah. Right. So he, he goes there. He gets kicked out because they said he was too drunk. And then there's all these videos of him stumbling around Nashville, falling you see a cop walk by him, and the cop says, how you doing? He says, okay, and then he keeps going. And they found his wallet by the river's edge, and a lot of people thought, you know, rightly so, uh, this kid, he fell into the river and he drowned, and that's what we're going to end up finding here. But his parents were sure that he was either okay or that there was something more nefarious going on here. And the new information is from the parents. It says, having nearly a month to process Riley Strain's death in Nashville, Mother Michelle Whited says she's bothered by text messages the 22-year-old sent her before he was asked to leave a downtown bar on March 8th. 
Strain, whose body was discovered less than two weeks later in the Cumberland River in West Nashville without his pants on or his cowboy boots, had told his mother he was drinking a rum and coke, a Cubra Libre. He said it, quote, didn't taste good. It tastes like barbecue, is what he says to his mother. The University of Missouri student says this. It sounds good, but it's not. At the time, White had told Strain he probably shouldn't consume the drink. She now wonders, maybe there was something in it that shouldn't have been. There's no mention of a barbecue-flavored rum and coke on the bar's menu. Uh, White did and Enton so discussed. actually did that research? That's... Yeah, I guess I looked into it. They said the case remains open and unclassified as of now. The medical examiner's office has not done their report just yet, the toxicology reports. They said there's no tangible reason to believe there was any foul play involved, but the parents don't think that's the case. Uh, family members have raised various issues around Strain's death, including a coroner's finding of a lack of water in Strain's lungs, which raises the probability or, or possibility that he was dead before entering the water. Relatives are also concerned about his missing pants, wallet, and cowboy boots. According to Chris White, the last known footage of Strain shows him approaching the James Robertson Parkway Bridge while fully clothed. Family members say he was wearing a belt, which should have kept his pants secured. However, a forensic pathologist says... It's entirely possible you can lose things as his body traveled about eight miles under current before oh, surfacing. Yeah, for sure. And that can like tear things off mm -hmm. your body and remove your pants, et cetera, et cetera. It's a sad truth of, of drowning like that. What was your take on this, C Lane, that you were mentioning? Oh, I was, uh, when I saw this story, I, uh, I only just before the, uh, we came back from break, saw that his lungs didn't have water in them. So that's suspect. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, the whole thing about the text messages and the uh, the bad rum and coke. Why a month later do we hear this? Like, why yeah. why would they not, you know, release that information immediately? So, so when they still think he might be alive, you know, before they find the body, and if there is any foul play, evidence of the foul play can be what they're looking for. You yeah, know, in addition to the you know, in addition to him. Well, what do you guys make of the parents also? They said that his friends did something wrong here. His friends knew that he had a bunch to drink, and his friends uh, let him wander away, and they continued partying. One of them followed Riley Strain for a hot second, and then he went back into the bar because he had to pay the tab because I guess uh, Riley Strain maybe didn't uh, cash out or something. And then they ended up just continuing on uh, and, and didn't notice until later that he was missing. And the family's going, how could you do this? You should have stopped immediately. You should have helped your friend out. You could have saved his life. You're responsible here. Uh, even Tanya on YouTube says his friends were complete dicks, leaving him left alone. But isn't that his responsibility? Like, I, I've had my friends leave me many a times, and I'm walking on my own. I, I, I don't or, drown. Uh, or you've left your friends many a times. Sure. Like you yeah, just, yeah. The whole Irish goodbye thing. Like, you know, it's time to go. It's time to go. Yeah, I have to go the, vomit behind this tree and then walk home. The thing <laughs> I, I think, though, Fritz, I go, I give leeway to the parents because nothing could be worse than no. having to oh, bury yeah. your kid. They're also grieving on a national level. Yeah, in front of cameras yeah. and stuff. And so, of course, you're going to say, what if, what if, all the what ifs in your mind brings it back to something where he, he would be alive. But and okay, it was somebody's fault. Then the question is, what's the age? Because this guy's 22 he was 22 mm -hmm. he probably hasn't been to a whole lot of places by himself this was university of missouri so this was an out-of-state trip that this frat was on mm -hmm. what's the age at which at which you let somebody you know take control of their life like that and just be like all right that's the guy that that, that left you know yeah we'll, we'll see him tomorrow I think once you're old enough to drink, you're old enough to be responsible for the outcome of drinking. I I think that this is a, a grown man. You're 21 years old, 22 years old. And it was a huge mistake and a terrible accident. But for a family, it doesn't just suck. And it's not just like your loved one is dead. It's also in, I don't want to say embarrassing way, but it's in a, a way where it's like, oh my God, this is the most preventable thing ever. All he had to do was not go near the river. And, oh, and and it was a frat trip, which means there was probably a decent amount of the fraternity there. I don't mm -hmm. know how big a fraternity this is, but when you go on a trip with three people and one goes missing, you're like, oh, what happened with, with that person? And they yeah. didn't say anything. You know, maybe you, you follow up on that because 
It was kind of odd. When you're on a trip with 20 people or more, it's kind of like you can't you, you, know, you can't be uh, uh, responsible for everybody. I'll tell you why I'm careful about these types of stories and the reaction of the parents. Uh, I'm not going to say who this was for reasons that will be obvious after I say the story. I'm not even sure I've told this before. I may have mentioned this at some point. We've been doing this show for a long time. But I had a, a friend way back in the day, still a great guy. Uh, still a loving, friend? Still a friend, yes. And his brother died. When we were 17, 18 years old, right around there, 17 years old, I think. His brother died, and his brother was found at the foot of a parking garage, and they believed that he had, had jumped and uh, had died, right? Jeez. And uh, tough to hear, terrible story, but as anybody would be, his parents didn't just want to think that was the case because mm -hmm. then you go, well, did we not do enough? Why, why didn't he come to us? We could have helped this and we could have made something better out of this. This is the worst kind of situation for parents to be stuck in. So they found out that he was mentoring some younger kids and that maybe they had like gone up in the parking garage with him. And they thought that these kids like pushed him off because like ne'er do wells or something. None of that was true. It didn't pan out to be true. They looked at security footage and stuff and it was just the unfortunate truth in that case was that he just he took his own life. The unfortunate truth, I believe, at this point in this case, is that this young man was partying with some friends, made the ultimate mistake of, of getting near a body of water, fell into this water, and he drowned. And this should be a lesson to everybody who's screwing around like that. You need to make sure, even though you're an adult and you think you're invincible, that you're you're taking care of yourself you could trip and fall drunk into the water and then you are just like him you don't want to do that you you can prevent that just by being a little more aware of what's going on and even though i think his parents are are kind of off in their uh chastising of the friends for not chasing after him and kind of blaming them a little bit if your friend wanders away you you should you should make sure your friend is okay like you you should go and make sure they're all right i mean th there was a point uh, and and uh, there's more to that because there's more that their parents are criticizing the friends for, and I part of me doesn't blame them. Um, but there was a trip to Nashville that I was on, mm -hmm. where the next morning we somebody hadn't been heard from, and uh, luckily for us, it was the person that was next to us. They were in our hotel, and so yeah. we just knocked on his door, and it turns out he uh, fell and completely demolished his phone the night before. Because he was hammered and walking home alone, uh -huh. which yeah. sounds familiar. But uh, that was, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like something where at the night of anybody had been trying to go, hey, this grown ass man, we don't know where he is. It was just the next morning we kind of uh, circled back and there he was. But the uh, the frat brothers apparently just continued on their on their merry way the next day. After not hearing from oh, him for a while. They kept going day after. They don't know where he is and they're still partying? Yeah, it's a little awkward, actually. Mm. There's not one of them that actually cared or tried to get in touch with him? Uh, well, uh, they tried to get in touch with him, but it wasn't until, like, the next afternoon that somebody called his parents. Jesus. So it says, uh, a strange grieving parents slammed his frat brothers at the University of Missouri for continuing to party after he went missing, calling their nonchalant behavior appalling. Uh, the mother, uh, uh, his father, and their spouses describe how members of the fraternity waited until the following afternoon to alert police of their son's disappearance, and they went to their formal that they had planned instead of helping oh. his family search for the missing 22-year-old. Yeah. Okay, that part I don't like. That part I'm not a fan of. And they came back from the formal and saw the parents in their truck, like, calling people and just, like, waved at them, like, hey, guys. Yeah. Anybody heard from him? Sorry about the kid. They, uh... I I'm trying to think about this. Let's say we all go out, okay? I, I'm going out on the uh, night on the town with C Lane, Josh, and Fritz. All four of yeah, us are going. You out. Watch out for Fritz, man. We're taking He's out. A I'm going to be very polite and well behaved. <laughs> no, gonna... Fritz. Fritz gets Fritz gets into a mood, and then he buys all the shots. Oh, we got party, Fritz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what Fritz does when he's in in uh, drinking mode, which I love this. 
He's happy. He's a or, happy drinker. Oh, yeah. Or not in drinking mode. Like right before the uh, Just Okay um, show, I was like, Sean, get over here. I do this every year. I'm going to start right now. I love you. You changed my life. You're like, I, all right. I love you too, Fritz. <laughs> True. True story. So, like, say we all go and we're uh, we're in Nashville and we're going to go party. And Fritz uh, uh, goes off just like this Riley's train did. And uh, Josh, uh, Celan, and I were having a couple more drinks. And I'm like, oh, where's Fritz at? All right. Oh, well, he probably went back to the hotel. And then we cash out for the night. And the next morning when we wake up, Fritz isn't there. Are we immediately going to call everybody that we can and be like, call, call his, his family members and stuff and be like, hey, we don't know where Fritz is? Or are we going to go, uh, he probably just woke up and went to go grab some food? Or I, I, I don't know. I think I might excuse it a little bit. I think I might be like, oh, he's fine. Because I would never think we didn't see Fritz at the end of the night last night. Therefore, Fritz is in the river. Right. I wouldn't process it that way. But I should True. be more worried. And I, I would be like, by lunchtime or something, I'd be like, okay, seriously, where's Fritz? At, at that time, I would be worried. And then once his parents Chowing are searching for him. Yeah, uh, I didn't yeah. see Fritz. Where, where's Fritz? Where is he? And when the when the parents are looking for him and you're going to the formal thing, ugh, at that point you know he's missing. You're with him. You should be in the search party. Yeah. Trying your damnedest to to like find him and, and see if he's okay. So, yeah, they called the guy's mother like the next day asking if, if she had heard from him. And she was like, What do you mean? He's with you. Why would I hear from him? What what do you mean you can't find him? She told them to call the cops and they did two hours later. Ooh, but yeah. These, were, these dudes had frat stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> That Out is not state good. Fret stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not liking some of the behavior there. Like, if they told her to, them to call the cops and they waited two hours, that's, that's bad. That's bad in a lot of ways. All right, let's get pay off the other two stories in jury duty. Here you go, right in front of me. A woman in Brazil took a corpse with her to a bank to try to get a, a bank loan, and uh, they found that uh, this person was not moving enough for <laughs> their liking. And there's even. Oh, Check this out. Hang on. For those of you who Why are do they watching, blur the corpse like the the identity thing? I don't know. Yeah, they, don't. they can't consent. This, yeah, exactly. For those of you on the stream, you take a look at this. Right, she's got this guy in the video. There's a piece of paper in front of him, and she's moving his hands along like, like he's a puppet or something. He's she's not doing smiling anything. for the camera. She's she's smiling. It's the dead guy. He's totally dead. And she's taking his hand and putting the pen in his hand and signing for bank loans. <laughs> Just hanging out full on weekend at Bernie's with the dead guy. And the bank tellers are like, I don't know. He seems a little dead to me. Mm -hmm. And they call the police to turn this lady in. She's <laughs> moving the head around like, yes. Yeah, she's shaking his head like to answer in the affirmative. And they're like, this is not great. This is obviously some sort of scam here. $3,400 was the loan amount. The woman was taken into custody. That's a tiny loan. And, and I guess it was uh, enough for her to risk it all and take the dead guy to try to sign some documents. Uh, also, Wendy's food nearly killed an 11-year-old girl, according to a lawsuit. Family of an 11-year-old softball player who nearly died after stopping at a Michigan Wendy's for a bite to eat in the summer of 2022 is now suing the company that operates the restaurant claiming that well-documented, extremely dirty conditions at the location led to an E. coli infection, kidney failure, and lasting brain damage. My Ooh. God. E. coli is a son of a bitch, isn't it? Yes. $20 million lawsuit in this case, and they said they ordered a biggie bag, and the burger fries and chicken nuggets must have been cross-contaminated, and she it's a miracle she didn't die. The 11-year-old softball player though did get E. coli and wants the money as a payout now. And this is what Sealand was talking about earlier in Dubai, where they seeded the clouds, and they say that wasn't responsible, but they got a, as much rain in, in one day as they usually do in a year and a half. And it says on the screen where they're filming, it says, move to Dubai, it never rains. Shows them driving in the Tesla. It's up over the oh my God. windshield. That's insane. This is so dangerous. And, and not even because they might stall, because there's a battery underneath them. And if that battery hit the water, if there was any seal that failed anywhere, everybody in the car is dead immediately. Right? They'll all I be mean, electrocuted. You would assume that, right? I think so. I mean, it would be very surprising to me if that was not the case. 
So uh, tell us what you think. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Or you have some so, kind of lithium battery fire it, it, submerged in water, which is a nightmare situation. Yeah, either way, it sounds pretty bad. It's kind of batteries. Like <laughs> they, they, should not, they should be very worried about it. All right, let's work in a dispatch or two. Here's Mo Manji, the realtor, talking about our friend Fritz. Hey, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. You too. So you're right about Fritz. Fritz is awesome to hang out with. Every time I see him, it's a lot of fun. Now, when you're talking about Josh Fowler, Pinkman, he's a dud. Anyways, thanks. Oh. Bye. Oh. Love you, Josh wow. Fowler. Jeez, shots fired at Fowler. Any response? Well, uh, not, not using you to sell my house. Oh, going with another realtor. Got him. <laughs> the ultimate that, I'll show you who's the dud. <laughs> uh, Base Clef Rules also is talking to Fritz. Hey, everybody. Hey. Fritz, this is for you. Uh, I was wondering if I could, you know, perhaps give you a small yet humble suggestion for Fritz on the street. Every time our Lord and Savior Christopher Dolores Lane wins, mm-hmm. you know, you still you go with uh, and still leading on the year with X amount of points. You know, Chris, see like late. That. Yeah, I like uh, I was wondering if we could get one for Sean, you know. And still in third place on the year. Oh, I think it'd be nice to give a little bit of That is Sean. mean. It <laughs> hurts. Somehow it hurts. Uh, okay, quick break. Stinks. When we come back, we'll get into another update in the robot world that we need to talk about. And Tiger Woods is in the news today. Is it for a good reason or a bad reason? We shall find out. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Authorities are working on an accident blocking the right shoulder, causing a bit of congestion on I-4 eastbound near Fairbanks Avenue. There's still stop-and-go traffic due to that accident on I-95 southbound between Old Dixie Highway and U.S. Highway 1. The left lane is blocked. And on Florida's Turnpike, watch out for slowdown southbound between Scrub Jay Lane and Hancock Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Brown. Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Florida Prepaid College Savings Plan. Two out of every three jobs will require some education or training beyond high school. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan can be used at universities, trade and technical schools nationwide. Plans start at just $34 a month. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie here with Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. You know that saying, you learn something new every day? Well, it is so true. Yes, every morning on Today, it's those little tips that can help save you time and improve your day. From the simplest ways to save money right now to incredible kitchen and cleaning hacks that you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning right here on NBC. This is the sound of real people across Florida betting on sports. It's the sound of winning your bet only on Hard Rock Bet. And if your first bet doesn't win, you get up to $100 back to try again. Hard Rock Bet is Florida's only legal sports book. Your home for betting hoops for any sport you choose. Download Hard Rock Bet now and get two shots at your first bet. Win, or you'll get up to $100 back as a bonus bet. Offer by the Seminole Tribe of Florida must be 21 plus and physically present in Florida to play. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, great news. Renewal by Anderson is now hiring a experienced window and door installers. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, go to RBA 
CJFLA.com for details. License number CGC1527613. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-777-1979 now. 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh, yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now. Commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, Bills. B-I-L-L-S. Bills. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. Want to learn more about the show? You can go to the website. It's thenewsjunkie.com. And when I see stories like this, I go, damn, that makes me a little frightened for the future here. They're talking about Russian hackers. And if you know anything about Russia, you know that they have this group that works with them. It's called the GRU. And there's uh, several, like, hacker groups within that. They're responsible for sowing discord in the United States of America on different social media platforms during the election. They were posting stuff like for and against different groups just to spin up some anger. They're planning protests in the United States that uh, were solely set up by them just to get people more mad. And now hackers linked to this Russian military group 
in a unit known as Sandworm are claiming credit for sabotaging U.S. water utilities, which not great. Oh, boy. Uh Uh-huh, we Sandworm you. That's the the scariest kind of hacking to me. I don't know about you guys, but, like, not hacking the hacker website, uh, they hack your bank account, but they hack infrastructure. Yeah. That's scary. They're gonna to me. make the bridges kill us. Well, I mean, yeah. uh, it's, it's something that you kind of <laughs> We're mentioned. Doing a hell of a job on our own, yeah. Fred. So it's well, something yeah. that you kind of mentioned when the Francis Scott Key Bridge disaster happened. Was like, isn't this just a glaring example on how to take down bridges? Yeah. Should it be so easy? Is the question. Can we have a, a, a level of fear that, uh, or, or should we have a level of fear? about the security of our utilities. Is there a risk that they could take out the power grid? That could cause chaos very quickly, especially if it lasts any extended amount of time. Can they take out or or taint even worse, taint our water supply? That's scary stuff. This is stuff that everybody should be on, on the edge about. I don't know if they've really been able to do this or if they're just trying to scare us with the latest technology. And our own government does this too. Remember when the feds and and everybody in Congress started freaking out a couple of months ago and they're throwing all these emergency hearings and stuff and they're like, Russia has this secret space weapon. Oh my God. And then it turned out it was like a nothing burger. They probably don't even have anything yet. It was all the panic in the world for a couple of days, but this would be bad. If they're hacking water utilities, Hey, let's make sure those things aren't connected to the internet in any way and heads up on the nuclear facilities too. Let's keep them nice and safe if we can. Uh, There is an update from Boston Dynamics. Hate the place. Wish it burned to the ground. Why? They do plenty of cool stuff there. Yeah, they've got robot doggies. They have robot doggies, Fritz, but what happens when they're not sweet little robot doggies anymore? They're probably taking a nap. They're they're, they're (laughs) not. This one ain't taking a nap. Look at this thing. Look at their latest robot. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, wow. Kind of interesting looking. Is that a mirrored and face so it just looks like y- you are looking back at yourself? <laughs> it's oh. the uh, Time Man of the Year cover. Yeah, it looks like a is. ring light with a body. If it is Fritz, that's a wild turn, and it makes it more scary for some reason. If yeah. it's just if his face is a mirror, I'll put this up on See It Now during the break. But you can look up Boston Dynamics Atlas, and you'll see that this thing has an upgrade. And now it's all electric. The whole thing is completely electric. And it's made some big, big uh, advances here. I said, this is a robot that is able to do more than any robot uh, previous to it. Its head can spin around 180 degrees and its torso can spin as well. Uh, It can obviously stand. It can run. Uh, They retired the hydraulic version of the robot. And now Boston Dynamics has said that Atlas is fully electric. This is not a bunch of hydraulics moving around. It's all electric. It's fast, and it's more fluid than many of the commercial humanoids that you may have seen in the last couple of years, and it's just going to get better from here. Or worse. Better, worse, depends on how you look at that. Uh, The last thing to pay off before we check out a dispatch or two and get into the final gear here on the show is that a former PGA Tour player is accusing Tiger Woods of using steroids, which... I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me, but uh, do you gain huge advances in a sport like golf through steroids? You hit the ball farther, maybe? further drives, baby. Yeah. yeah. Bigger drives. Yeah, That's more, it. More just, Perkins waitresses. I would say yeah. just the drive, right? Because, I mean, you don't want to be any stronger for a putt. No, I don't <laughs> think it's going to help you any there. It's like where there's certain things I look at them and I go, um, like, I think there was a controversy about, uh, and I say that in air quotes because most people do not care about this stuff, but a controversy about a transgender darts player. And it was a biological male participating in women's darts, female darts, uh, as a transgender competitor. And of course, like everything is like, oh my God. And I thought, is there any perceivable advantage that one sex has over the other in darts? What is what is the advantage that men have over women in darts? Yeah, and because, some things, because I, I see it, but not this. There's nothing about like if it if it meant that you needed to throw a dart faster or harder, 
maybe you could say that, but it's really just accuracy above all else. Yeah. So I don't think, uh, I mean, I don't even see the need to separate women and men in darts. Yeah, Lord, no. Lord knows I've gotten my ass beat by a lot of women <laughs> at, at, at darts, so that's... That's fine. Uh, what is the statistical advantage? It, it was like in chess where somebody said there was a, a similar controversy. It's like, okay, maybe height? Yeah, height. Because that, Is that a huge advantage in darts? It, it can be if you, I mean, if you're higher up than, or, or if, um, if you're lower, you need to get the dart to go higher. Whereas if you're level with the dartboard, you got a little better shot, I think, right? Yeah, but there's there's also got to be a tipping point there because if some dude is like eight feet tall, he's not better as a darts player that because he's probably he's eight worse. Feet tall. Yeah, we should ask Angel if he's better at darts. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like up there? Uh, I don't I don't see How's the weather. <laughs> but even if there was one, it's like oh, guys on average are taller and they have like a little bit longer arms. That's got to be pretty small and in the margins, like swimming, track and field. Boxing, MMA, huge, huge advantages. Yeah. Bone structure, muscle structure of men and women is very, very different. And that could be an issue. But like when I see this stuff, I go, ah, I don't know. Then again, I guess well, you, when you look at men and women in golf, though, clearly men uh, have a biological advantage over women yeah. in golf. Um, For the drive. Just, for the, it must be all about the drive. It but must women be have an drive. advantage because they have their own tees. Mm-hmm. They have the ladies' tees. Yeah, nice. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> I'm not talking about breasts for once. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I just thought you were being a pig. But <laughs> okay, uh, you weren't though this time. My, my uh, apologies. Uh, I said something. Speaking of darts, I said something over the weekend that after it came out of my mouth, I heard it and went, "That sounds like a really old fuddy duddy thing to say." But I stand by it because I think it's. I think the idea that I saw is stupid. What? Uh, what is it? We were driving down I-4 past Dave and Buster's. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the back uh-huh. of Dave and Buster's where they have, like, and they have the big facade in the, and they have, like, advertisements for what they've got inside. Yeah. And one of the things they have to offer is called digital darts. Yeah. And for uh... the life of me, why does that need to be digital? Well, the scoring is cool if that's digital. Yeah. No, but are you? When like, was the last time you played darts that didn't score it for you? Oh, are the you... old time taverns uh, have you know the little chalkboard. Yeah, that's how yeah. I like it, kind of. But I, nobody, like... but nobody calls that digital darts when when they're when that's the alternative. Uh, it depends on how it's done because I don't like. You remember the dartboard you used to have when you were living with Beaver? Remember that? Yeah, like, yeah. He still has it. Like, it's like one straight out of a, a bar or like a Dave and Buster's, you know, yeah. it, but it doesn't, it's not a regular dartboard. It, it has a thing where the darts go in and it makes it so it can digitally score what's going on. And that's I like a regular, regular dartboard to me. That is the is dartboard it? I grew up on. You're thinking oh. of, a, are you thinking of like a, a cork board with metal, yeah. with metal darts? Oh, that's yes. not digital. Yeah. That's real darts. To me, it's not. Oh man! Wow. <laughs> I've, I've grown up. I've grown up playing bar darts. Found That's the Biden sports. voter. That's the yeah. dart. <laughs> Good God! All right, Bart's are they superior? Let us know what you think. Go to thenewsjunkie dot com. Oh please! <laughs> Set us a dispatch for that. You're barely going to play the dispatches. <laughs> Do you see the story that Fritz <laughs> sent us? I like what when, when I every day now when I go to talk about the end of the show and I'm going to do final dispatcher stories that didn't make the cut in today. I learned Celine's like none of this is going to happen. It's it, why are we even trying? It's the, it's not like such just, a doomer. He just uh, he's heckling <laughs> the end of the day. What was the story Fritz found? There's some uh, OnlyFans chick that said she made 250 grand during spring break by banging 122 college kids. Oh my god. <laughs> Smart business right there. <laughs> yeah, That's but a no, lot of money. But I'm doing the math, and it's like I think that the slap girl made that the same amount and didn't have to sleep with anybody. <laughs> she just had to beat everybody. Yeah, she had to, it still has some some force exerted. I'm though. sure both of those women said that each of them had more fun. But uh... yeah, yeah. Well, look, g- get yours if you can, yeah. as they say. All right, quick break. <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna do the final dispatches. I promise. Stories that didn't make the cut. And today, we're going to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. 
Happy Wednesday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, another hot, sunny day is on the way for Central Florida. Plan for a high of 88 degrees in Orlando. We climb into the 90s for the end of the week. We stay rain free into the weekend as well. A high of 91 for your Thursday, 93 for Friday, and 94 for both Saturday and into Sunday. Rain does arrive for Monday, but so far, just a 30% chance. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Safe Touch Security. Boss, did you know Safe Touch Security is the home of the 45 second or less guaranteed response? Of course, it's just one of the reasons why I hate Safe Touch. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select security systems. Call 888-723-8682 or go to safetouch.com. State license EF2001945. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Count on You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Another happy SafeLight customer. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah. 
so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of the Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This. I've noticed the same thing with secret shows, and it's really hard if you don't finish the whole secret show episode in one sitting because it doesn't hold your place. Also, as of recently, I'm noticing that every time I close out my browser, it makes me log back in each time I go to the website. Can there be a way to just keep us logged in? Thank you for the email. I will take a look at that. I will put it on the list and get it fixed. And that's true for everybody out there, especially if you're a secret show subscriber. If there's something that doesn't work on the website the way you want it to, that's what we have a developer team for. It costs money. Yes, it's a very, very expensive project, the website project. But we might as well have everything as perfect or close to it as we can get. So email me, tips at the news junkie.com. New update coming uh, probably this week, uh, toward the end of the week, maybe in a, a day or two. Uh, Jeremy emails tips of the news junkie.com. And he says, inflation. We don't have an inflation problem, Jeremy says. We have a corporate greed problem making an inflation problem. I'm sure you'll take up for the corporations, though, Jeremy said. Uh, well, Jeremy, we actually have a pretty significant inflation problem in the United States of America right now, as they do around the world. Most of that to do with injections of cash during the pandemic for countries all over the place. Uh, do we have corporate greed on top of that? Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. That that happens to a certain extent. But when you see things um, getting more expensive, it's not simply because the big, bad corporations are trying to take more money. Life is always a bit more compli- uh, complicated than that. Uh, C-Lane said, I couldn't do it. I'm going to prove him wrong. Here we go. The final dispatch. Here Ooh. is a big bird talking about cybersecurity. You don't normally get twice in one day from me, but uh, cybersecurity actually is what I do. And um, it wouldn't take a lot, especially with so many people who have come into our country that um, look like they belong here. Uh, Very much dressing like Americans speaking English, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How dare they? They don't need to be. you know, it really, you, but you, bad there's a lot of back doors in the places, and, and our job is to find those back doors. But there's a ton of them, and people put them in all the time by accident. I don't so, like that one bit, sir. I said about that, wiggle, wiggle, and all that. Bye. Uh, thank you, Big Bird. Appreciate your dispatches. Uh, now, before I get to the stories that did make the cut, let me take a moment here and say thank you to our beloved Fritz. We appreciate you, buddy. Uh oh, his microphone. Oh, thank you. There it See, goes. sabotaged by Josh again. Yeah, you're right. That's I what he's trying it off. to do. He's trying to take your time to shine away from you. We love you, Fritz. We appreciate you. Love you guys. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. As always, it's always, always a good time spending any time with you, uh, Josh. We appreciate you as well. Thanks for stepping up to be a hero today. I didn't uh, break my previous record, but it was good to still utterly destroy you. Jesus. Yeah, I, I know. It's I'm still hurting from mm-hmm. it over here. But you did a great job, as you always do, and we appreciate hey. you bringing some magic to the table today. You're welcome. See, Lane? Yeah. Um, Thanks for nothing. <laughs> you did a great job today. <laughs> thank you. You're you're a funny guy. Oh, th- thank you. And uh, a sweet man. Uh, and attractive, uh, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Not going as far as everybody else is. We'll leave it there. All right. The countdown is on. 100 days until the Olympics in Paris. That's that's it. All the other stuff is going to have to stay. I saw for... them lighting the uh, the torch in yeah. Greece. 
That's right. And they were still dressed in like old school grease stuff. Mm-hmm. Like uh, uh, Grease Lightning? No, no, like I think it looked like togas. It oh, looked like some cool. kind of thing. And I was like, well, wow, is this the only day in Greece that they still do stuff like that? Or are there like a, a bunch of purists that are like, yep, I'm Greek. Let's, let's rock the togas. My name is Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, Celine wasn't right. It was wrong that we weren't going to get all those things done, and here we got are. Him. You said dispatches. Story. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and and stories. Dispatch. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's do today I learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call today I learned. from? Mikano. My name is Mikano. My name is. Yeah, it's Michael, Michael Scott. Uh, is it? <laughs> All right, good. Today, learn for Wednesday, <laughs> April 17th, 2024. All right, good. Here we go. I got to stop saying, here we go. Today, learn <laughs> this movie. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, the boss. I'm the boss. The Godfather. <laughs> That's right, The Godfather. I really so wanted, the I really wanted uh, you to keep doing that for a while. I was uh, put a horse say. head in the bed. Uh, is that the same movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best over here. I don't know all the Godfather things, all right? Uh, Paramount <laughs> Studios set three conditions for the casting of Marlon Brando and Godfather. He would have to take a fee below what he usually received. He would have to agree to accept financial responsibility for any production delays his behavior cost, and he had to submit to a screen test. He hesitantly took this deal and ended up being one of the biggest movies of his career. Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Today, learned in 1995, producers for the movie Striptease and producers for the movie G.I. Jane got into a bidding war to see who could get Demi Moore to film first. Striptease won. She got offered $12.5 million. Nice. To do that movie, not too shabby. Better to take her clothes off before her hair. That's very <laughs> true. Today, I learn this band. Uh, Dan Lizzie. Dan Lizzie is correct. Good job, guys. Today, I learn about a woman named May Booker, a grandmother who is in her 70s, and she had one wish. That wish? To rock out with Thin Lizzy on stage. On the BBC, they had a performance with Thin Lizzy. They brought the grandma in, and bam, she did it. Life goal accomplished. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Get the podcast. It's available over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. They were asking if you were around. How you was where you could be found.